hello everybody! This is Great Din here. Uh, Spud is feeling sick today, so we are going back to, instead of uh, the Forgotten Ones, we're going to take a look at the Borrowers again and continue where they left off. Uh, Space Jawa is currently on the road, so he may not be able to join us for a while if he can join at all today. Um, but we have other people here, uh, the other main characters, as well as a special guest today. Uh, so let's start off with uh, Avis playing Mana. <laughs> uh, that sounds like the laugh of someone who's sure everything's gonna turn out okay we have of course Digo. absolutely we have digo playing zuri <laughs> uh and we have azure mountain playing finn still looking for my dad with my friends mm -hmm. and our special guest today is swest playing beryl the halfling bard oh how's everybody I am doing okay. A lot of last minute planning, but okay. Yep. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Everything is fun and dandy. Everything will be awesome, I'm sure. <laughs> I went to lunch with my real life dad today. Oh. Cool. So. All right. Father's Day. I guess it's technically appropriate. Yes. Yep. <laughs> all right. Well, c'est la vie, I suppose. Sometimes things work out in our favor. Um, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong here, when we last left off, uh, you all had been, uh, had finished a fir first mission from the Borrowers, uh, and were given a day to sort of relax, recuperate, and just sort of mill about Baldur's Gate, uh, for a little while, uh, before you got your next mission, and, uh, you used that time to destroy a Fight. boat full of puppets! <laughs> yes! Yep. And chase uh, a, uh, a a noble looking person who yes. uh, had some artifacts of relevance for mana. Yes. But they got away. <laughs> they got away, unfortunately. Don't uh, rub it in. <laughs> for now. For now, indeed. Uh, and finally, you were given the assignment to uh, head to Waterdeep to see if you could track down one tiefling paladin named Yuli. <laughs> Yay. We, we begin uh, in Baldur's Gate that morning. Um, the uh, four of you are, uh, not including Beryl, the four of you are packed up and ready to do what it is you might need to do. Um to head out in some capacity or another uh, when one of the, uh, the the same uh, drow who had given you your orders uh, or had, who had accepted your mission yesterday and given you your orders today uh, knocks on your room at the inn. You, uh, you all decent in there? Yeah. I think so. Are we? Yeah. I mean... Were we all sharing the same room? Not all in the same room, but, you know, presumably enough of you were sharing the same room that at some point... It, this is, like, mid-morning, so the assumption is that unless you spent all night drinking, like, groups tend to get together in their rooms rather than yeah. in the taverns. Um, and also, I'm gonna say... Also, majority of you are women, so... Yeah, Finn yeah, probably had his say. own room, but was <laughs> staying over playing cards or something. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you are all decent, uh, the drow is going to say, Hey, uh, so I really hate to do this sort of last minute, but, uh, we've got another one of, uh, one of us who's taking care of something else to the south. So I was hoping you could sort of, uh, escort her in the meanwhile. Sure. Uh, More the merrier. And, uh, okay. He'll say, great. She's, uh, she's waiting downstairs. It's the, uh, the halfling with the, uh, You'll you'll know by the hat, <clears throat> and oh, uh, neat. The drow will leave. Um. So yes, uh, it is mid morning. You are packed up and ready to go. How would you like to proceed? Should I get rid of my wounds? Uh, yeah. It's I'll uh, I'll make the assumption that everyone has had a chance to actually uh, patch themselves up. So. Oh yeah, wounds are a thing. Yeah. Yeah, we never actually healed after last session. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. I should also probably put Beryl in the combat tracker. Nah, Beryl doesn't need to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Beryl's got a lot of things she can do. <laughs> Beryl's a bard. Beryl's great. Yay. I have yet to meet Beryl, but I've already placed them in the same plot that I put Zuri in. I shall protect them forever. I mean, <laughs> apparently they've got a really nice hat. Hats are pretty accessory. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you all head downstairs to the main area of the tavern? Yep. All right. Uh, it is largely empty. Uh, most people are either out working or asleep. There's a, there's a very select, uh, high-quality group of drunks just going to town at the bar itself. Um, and there is a halfling in a dark, uh, what we would call a cowboy hat. Uh, sitting at a table. Oh. Beryl, how are you spending your morning? She's she's probably leaning back in her chair and uh, um, pulled up to a table and has her pack up on the table and just sort of, uh, you know, going through her stuff, making sure she's got all the stuff she needs for her trip. Mm-hmm. Her cowboy hat's kind of pulled low over her face. Uh, that people can't see her face exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, making sure she's got enough uh, rations and stuff like that. All right. Okay. So that's probably her over there. I walk up. Hi. You must be the one that we're escorting. My name's Finn. It's nice to meet you. Finn. Nice to meet you. I thought I was escorting you. Well. Goes we down. could just sleep. It goes a bit <laughs> Yep. So what's your Water name? Deep. Also, I said south earlier. I meant north. I apologize. I got Baldur's Gate and, and Waterdeep confused as far as location. We're going some direction. It's fine. So y'all heading to Waterdeep? Yep. Yes. Presumably. You yeah, heading there too or somewhere else in that direction? No, I'm heading there too. It's gonna be a long road, I hear. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe I got your name. Oh, it's Barrel. It's nice actually it's not spelled the way of the barrels, like you know, like wine yeah, like and the gemstone. stuff like that. Yeah, it's like the gemstone. Ooh, yeah. gemstone. On account of my eyes. Oh, nice. Which I makes see. no sense when you see my red hair, but it's based on my eyes, not my head. Otherwise, it would have been named Ruby. <laughs> Ooh, another good gemstone. Tasty gemstones, yes. <clears throat> all right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and link just so you all know exactly the kind of distance you're talking here the map of uh, the Sword Coast. Baldur's Gate is down Load. here. And Waterdeep is up here. So. <laughs> Your markers have loaded before the actual map has. <laughs> yeah. That circle and this square. Yeah, the exact same very... I thought they would be. <laughs> but... <laughs> There we go. <laughs> there we are. Uh, yes. Oh wow. So okay, there we go. It, it's not yeah. a. It's not a. It's not going to be a short journey. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, we might as well. Hmm. So are we yeah, taking the work. road, or are we traveling along the coast? And here's the other question. You just have to get there at some point. Are you going to? follow any of the leads you got here uh, for your own personal quests or are you going to just go? Mm. 
Because hmm. remember, hmm. along with um, along with the uh, uh, yeah, there were also the uh, people the with my father's yeah. craftsmanship stuff. The, yeah, I think it's the Fire Fist Company. Is that their name again? Uh, Flaming uh, Fist. Yeah, the Flaming Fist Mercenary Company. We could probably find out who that noble is. I have, I have a horse with blinders. I have priorities. Yeah, <laughs> they, are not in, they are currently not in Waterdeep. Yep. Well, I don't mind. We, I, I'm just looking for some roots and vegetables and stuff to pull up on the way we're going. So, you know, doesn't matter me how long it takes. You know, less than a year, of course, or something like that. But I do have to get there <laughs> at some point. I don't intend for any of this to take that exceedingly long. In honesty, I want this done as quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so it's but a little over not- 500 miles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably going to take a couple months, maybe. Or a few days. I mean, it depends on how you march. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so, I feel like I didn't quite get an exact specific. So, what's, what's, the, um, what's the immediate plan for right this moment? I want to find out about the noble. <laughs> okay. Uh, any objections? No. Uh, I am aware that objecting will do nothing, so. <laughs> <laughs> you you are certainly allowed to ob- object. Whether or not that leads anywhere is I mean, it won't debate. help. And Finn is a proponent of not going off alone, so. <laughs> Finn right. is very smart. He is pretty smart, yeah. Okay. So Finn, how- Finn is a smart boy. So how would you like yep. to sort of proceed here? How would you like to try and figure out who that noble was? Do, 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 do. Because right now uh, you're very much in the lower city. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> there are a lot of things one could potentially do. Mm-hmm. Like, could just kick we down could... noble doors and go. You do I know you? Uh, Listen, I know someone who might do that, but that's not what Mana would do. <laughs> uh, we could flood the upper city. <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah. that's that's Plan F. Where we need to get to Plan A first. Plan F. We could. We could start by investigating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there I mean, go. it was. It wasn't keyed in that we were the ones who attacked the ship, right? <laughs> no, there weren't exactly many witnesses because most there of them was were not human. I Probably mean, one witness. <laughs> I mean, it was far distance, and <laughs> mm-hmm. that so that part itself is debatable. Yeah. Um, I mean, in honesty, we could ask around as to, hey, does anyone know about that noble's Mm -hmm. ship who got attacked? Who were they? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like something as easy as that since no one knows it was us. (laughs) (laughs) We could, we're we're concerned citizens Mm -hmm. who clearly just want to help. Very good. No ulterior motives whatsoever. Nope, none at all. Yep. You are correct. <laughs> um, okay. That I mean that sounds like a decent uh path to go about. Who like would you like to um are you gonna uh persuasion diplomacy intimidate? Who, who and and what sort of people are you gonna ask? Uh I mean, mm. the ship was at a dock, which means that there might have been like people who were servicing the dock nearby, relatively, or yeah, 
in the general area, so they might know like basic information and then lead off of that to people who might know a little bit more and then so on and so forth. <laughs> yeah, reasonable, reasonable. All right. So I guess let's let's roll. Let's roll something. Oh. Also, are you going to inform your new uh, traveling companion exactly why you're doing all this? No. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we don't really know why either. That's it's probably it's, oh, it's, it's really only mana knows. Mana, meh. It's important, and the faster I get this done, the faster we can leave and go to Waterdeep. So who's got the familiar? I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you could probably... Could you have them fly around above the upper district to see if they can spot anyone that looks familiar? I mean, I could fly... I mean, because right now, it's still, like, the pseudoest dragon which is kind of not <laughs> inconspicuous mm -hmm. I would agree not the most mm -hmm. uh, inconspicuous of things Can I mean, but if I want it, it not this one okay uh, heck what I know there's four of them that pack the chain gives you Three of them can, and the one I picked doesn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. um, I don't remember. I know one sprite, but I don't. I I honestly don't know what the other three are. I just don't remember. It's like a sprite, an imp, the pseudo dragon, and something else. I guess. Yeah, I just want to like. I bet I can know check in that. like half a second. I am also doing that. Also, mostly for yeah. my. Imp, pseudo dragon, quasit. Ah, that's what it was. The little rabbit with horn. And sprite. I think that's a quasit. Am I wrong there? Uh, I thought that the quasit was kind of. I don't remember. It is a tiny Me. fiend. Ah, it's this thing. Yep. That's a quasit. Oh. Cute. Mm. Yes, it is. Tell it, bite your finger off. Well. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about Sprite, but then I was remembering who I was playing as, and now... <laughs> Here we are. Pseudo Dragon works. Pseudo Dragon. Oh, and it can use Polymorph. <laughs> so you could Polymorph it into a bird? I could Polymorph it into a bat. A centipede or a toad. <laughs> huh. No, oh man, no. quasit, is, quasit is weird. Mm -hmm. It also has invis invisibility. Yep. I think that you're going to take the time to swap it into a quasit and let it use invisibility to do that recon. Okay. And quasit because fly? Flight might be helpful. I don't think so. Uh. I'm, oh, if it turns yeah. into a bat, it can. Hmm. Yeah, but, but it's presumably daytime, so. Yeah, no, I'm going to make it sprite and then. I mean, you could turn it into an invisible bat. Yeah. <laughs> I could. <laughs> that seems excessive. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is a bat during daytime, it's a little out there, but an invisible bat during daytime is perfectly normal. No one will bat an eye. No one will bat an eye. Of course, you've also yep. only been in Baldur's Gate for a little while, so you don't know maybe what the city's been dealing with lately. So, Yeah. True. Yeah, well, take the time, make it a closet, make it turn into a bat, and then make it turn invisible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Send it to scout the upper Because that's not excessive at all. <laughs> not at all. Use, and then you're gonna send it to the upper city to uh, scout. To scout. All right. I guess have the closet roll perception. Let me go ahead and toss it into the 
uh, into the uh, uh, thing. Combat tracker. Combat tracker. There we go. Brain not do things. The pseudo dragon <laughs> is dead. Long live the pseudo dragon. Oh. Oh. It was so cute. Right. I can't. It does not have any bonuses to perception, so. Doesn't. Boy. So. If only I could fly and turn invisible. It rolled a 12. Wow. I think uh, that's better than what the original dragon rolled. A, a, tw a 12 is not terrible. Um, You get, because it does not understand humans very well, you get a few different <laughs> potential leads. <laughs> Okay. Uh, a few different people in the in the city who to the closet look the same. So, how would you uh you, you uh let me let me get the names real fast. Uh hold on. My list is somewhere. Uh Come on. Yes, I accept this risk. I know my firewall is off. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you, the, uh, I mean, obviously the, the closet doesn't know what the names are, but uh, through some asking around, uh, you get the following names, which I'm going to type into chat so that you have them just sort of listed. Um. All right. No more rolling twenty dice for now. Yeah. Uh, that's the first one. Uh, that is the name, Miss Dithus Sothar. Um. Bless you. <laughs> thank you. Uh. Ruth for Dreamer. Uh. Oops, it's not letting me type. Zelmanis. Uh, and... Drodus Grimonzi. So, those are, so the, those are the four names you got. They're, uh, uh, they're wealthy people who seem to have some sort of tie to the docks. As best you can tell. Does Zell Maniz own a store that sells minis? <laughs> uh, she she is known for her collection of very creepy dolls. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Wait, is that serious? Because <laughs> then that might... <laughs> I am being 100% serious. Everything I say is canon, even the jokes. Jokes are the deepest form of lore, you see. Ah, yep. Here I was already fixated on two names, and now I'm keying in on one after just that. <laughs> <laughs> and if Ruth Fordreamer is the one we're after, the Fordreamers might end up being ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love I love jokes like that. <clears throat> yeah. Alrighty, so how would you like to proceed with those names? Hmm. Um. Uh, how about uh, everyone roll for, I guess, investigation, and I'll let you know what sort of general information you get about all of them. Oh, oh, oh. Wow! <laughs> Alright. Swest, you gonna roll? Uh, I'm trying to get the thing in the jiggy. There we okay. go. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay. So even though I have no idea what you're talking about, I'm finding stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, oh, we're yeah. just looking at these up these people. Yeah, it's just it's basically looking up yep. these these four individuals and determining sort of like what they know. Um, I was gonna ask, mm -hmm. did we find any papers on the ship? Uh, no, you did not. Okay, just that one artifact. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the artifact and some, uh, uh, there was some other sort of, uh, valuables, um, uh, but the, those were the more specific ones of, like, 
here is what's relevant to you. <laughs> Other stuff's just like grains, beans. Um, oh, there was some. Oh uh, crap! It was that was being partially used as like st- uh, packing material. Right. Okay. So nothing of help to us finding the people. Not necessarily. No. Um. So uh, the Sotar family, uh, and I'm honestly gonna say with how high everyone rolled, you all get this information. Um, the Sotar family uh is pretty much one of the like uh largest shipping companies in Baldur's Gate. Uh they the the um sort of citywide joke is uh they own half the docks and the other half they uh they uh take bribes for. <laughs> huh. Uh the four dreamers are some of the more magically inclined members of the nobility. Uh, a lot of wizards in that family. Uh, they sort of have a hand in like the uh, not the educational system but like the various uh, magical trinkets and artifacts that go through the city Uh, there's a another rumor that you sort of pick up is that uh, anything magical that enters the city goes through the four dreamers first before it's spread out Um, the Maniz family uh, is known as the artisans of the upper city they uh, actually have a pretty good uh like unlike most noble families they have a pretty uh good connection to several people in the lower city they're kind of lower on the nobility totem pole as a result of that um but uh all of the like fine art like fine artisans uh usually get patronage from the Maniz family and one of the things that happens is that they usually get com- uh, an artist that uh, gets money from the Maniz family is usually asked to make some sort of doll or something depicting a doll for uh, Zell, the not youngest member of the family, but uh, like she she's not a child, she's not a teen, but she's like as far as the the family order is concerned, she is the youngest. She's in her late twenties. Uh, and the Grimanzi family are probably the lowest on the totem pole as far as the upper city goes. Uh, they're the morticians of the upper oh. city. Um, but likewise, they have a lot of contact with the docks because it's much easier to store bodies in the cold water of the Chionthar River than it is to store them uh, in the packed city of Baldur's Gate. This is true, because there are things in the water that will just eat the bodies. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, that's sort of the general information you have about those uh, four families. So, right off the bat... I'm Ruth staring at the four dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> Magician, kinda... We, we clearly fought a spellcaster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So whether or not it was them themselves, I we clearly fought a spellcaster, but then we were also kind of fighting doll. So it we could, were, but it could be I believe that is also a spell. It is. This, yeah. So. So we want to. Try the four dreamers and see if they had a boat that was attacked recently within the last day. <laughs> Hi. I know this isn't public knowledge, but we heard you had a boat that was attacked. <laughs> we, were, we were passing by, and it seemed like there was a giant commotion. We wanted to make sure that everything was all right. <laughs> yep. That won't end badly at all. I'm fine. Sure. Fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> So, you gonna head up to the upper city? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Everyone, roll perception for me. Nice. That's that's my best thing. Oh. Wow. What a what a bevy of uh, <laughs> numbers there. The yep. curse has begun. The curse hath indeed begun. 
Um, a lot of double proficiencies. Yeah, there mm-hmm. are. <laughs> it's wild. Um, so, uh, Mana, Beryl, you don't notice anything too off about uh, Baldur's Gate at the moment. Um, Mana, I think it's fairly obvious why you, <laughs> you maybe aren't <laughs> noticing anything. You've got a mission. You've got a I have priorities. Point. You have priorities. Uh, Beryl, I think you're mostly just confused by what these these others are doing um because uh, uh Baldur's Gate is not your sort of general home turf yeah totally i i'm just staring barrel's just standing there staring at these guys going what on earth was their last job doing <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question we um, don't know either uh well i mean your characters would and if you like, yes I can tell you. Sure. Please. Uh your it's last been a while. your last job uh was basically uh getting a lich's phylactery. Oh. And uh, hmm. delivering that to Baldur's Gate. You never encountered right. the lich themselves because they kept it away from their physical form. Right. Uh there was another group of borrowers out there uh, distracting the lich. So you were more of an, uh, uh, shall we say, infiltration team. Uh, but yeah, you, you did. We'd be out... good at that. <laughs> yes, we are. But... Honestly, we'd probably be better suited to be distracting the lich than sneaking in to find its stuff. Uh, we could do both. To be fair, it's a lich's thing, so it's naturally yeah. guarded by some gnarly stuff. Uh, let me see. But we're not, at the very least, Finn is not great at the stealthing. No, but the others kind of are. Yep. I so got, Finn is I the distraction. <laughs> I'm stealthy for two people. Mm-hmm. Finn has plate mail, or full plate. So, a let me just pull up. I got invisibility that I can cast a, a, a level. <laughs> That's nice. Invisibility doesn't stop Sam, though. Yeah, it gives you a flat roll instead of disadvantage, though. So y'all are y'all are familiar with um uh the uh, terracotta army? Yes. You basically yes. you you basically dealt with the undead version of that to get at that phylactery. Oh, uh, hmm. fun! That sounds like something Finn would be all right at. Yeah. <laughs> It's it pointy and hurts. Yes. So, uh, it it went well. Is all I'm going to say about that. Yep. <laughs> Y'all are good at your jobs. <laughs> um. So yes. Uh, you are. Oh, sorry. Perception roll. Right. Right. Sorry. Got distracted midway yep. through that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Finn and Zuri. Uh, what you notice is two different things um finn you notice that the uh flaming fist uh mercenaries are blocking off a lot more access to the roads than you would expect uh they definitely seem to be on general high alert um there's a lot more weapons drawn than you feel is maybe necessary right now but no, nobody's being attacked, but it's a lot of people are being stopped and questioned about things. Uh-oh. Um, and Zuri, you mm-hmm. notice something completely different. Uh, you notice there are a few figures wearing extremely dark uh, cloaks uh, that are traveling in a, a small two to three person group. Um, and they appear to be doing some sort of alms collecting. Uh, the weird part is most people seem to, like it's most people seem to be ignoring them in a way that is uh, not unnatural. Yeah, unnatural. Huh. Uh, and the you see a symbol on their shirts or on their cloaks uh let me see if i can pull it up real fast this is the symbol you see 
That looks familiar. Why is that? That's a good question. Would it be familiar to Zuri? I am not sure. <laughs> you want to, You can roll history if you'd like to determine it. Yeah, try. I'm not very good at it. Eh. Uh, no, it looks like uh, it, it doesn't look you with your with that history roll. You can tell it's not writing. Um, you know it's an old symbol of some kind. Uh, but it's not a symbol that any dragons used. So, mm -hmm. mm. well, I will reach up and hug on Finn's cloak. <laughs> yeah, and kind of point. Well, not point, but like nudge my head over in their direction. The cloak. <laughs> Are you just don't gonna... <laughs> just don't them. No, <laughs> I was uh, trying to do something. I accidentally did something else. Sorry, my brain uh, immediately just went to Danny DeVito, and then I started zapping. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, there are blinders on, but there there is intelligence behind this head. Uh, uh. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> you know what? Right. I give up what I was trying to do. What were you trying to do? I might be able to. I was trying to have it pop up something, but it's not doing it. So it's fine. <laughs> Just take oh, gotta... me. If you want to pop up stuff, it's not the star side. It's the other side. It's the little shield. The magnifying glass and the shields. Yeah, yep. the other side did it too. <laughs> That's what the first roll was. <laughs> I'm. I give up. It's fine. Never worries. Oh yeah, that does do a thing. It's fine. <laughs> it is fine. <laughs> That's a language we don't know. Or I don't know anyway. It's in half <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Makes sense. Anyway, so do I notice those cloaked people? Uh after being after them being pointed out, yes. Alright. They got a funny symbol. What's that symbol? Let's see if I know what that symbol is. The 17. 17. Uh, it's honestly a little difficult for even that role to like really get it. Yeah. Wow. Um, this is, you can tell that it's old. And despite the sort of, uh, you know, uh, dress they're wearing, it's not a religious symbol exactly it's not associated with any right. gods you've ever heard of um it's just a uh it's a an old old symbol and you you do know that it is not writing in any classic sense of the word yeah even though writing is all symbols <laughs> i don't want to get distracted with yep. semantics yep. <laughs> if it was writing okay. i'd be able to read it mm -hmm. so has uh, Zuri pointed it out to everyone? Yes. Well, I was going to ask, Hey, Mana, are you good with... Do you know anything about old symbols? I will point it out to everyone, including Beryl. Depends on what we're referring to as an old symbol. It's very old, and is a triangle with a line. If I have a piece of paper and some sort of writing utensil, I will... <laughs> Like a Draw pyramid it. with a little door. It's very when that when that guy rolled, I thought it landed on a zero, and it didn't make sense in my mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> put a yeah. Black. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, with a ten, you still don't know what that symbol is, Barrel. Uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Also not. I thought it all made me double roll mm. it. That's what the goose was for. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. no worries. Um, so yeah, none of you quite know what the symbol is, but now that you're all sort of like seeing them, you do notice something else peculiar about them. They're doing mm -hmm. a very good job of staying out of the way of any flaming fist group. Hmm. No hands of file. That's not suspicious at all. I wonder why. They're clearly up to no good. And if they're oh. avoiding what is assumed to be the law of the well, city. 
any law with a name like Flaming Fist, I'd avoid too. To be fair, the Flaming Fists are not the law of the city. They were hired yeah. on recently. And then I mean, leave. <laughs> they're hired to do something by someone. <laughs> yes, and then they didn't leave. Uh. So they might be planning to take over the city. Just I don't know that y'all know that, but <laughs> we don't. But if we, they, like, I mean, if we I know that they were hired and didn't leave, I, I don't know that your characters having been here only a day would necessarily know that. You know, it's weird okay. that they're here, but um, them like but. The, them having this capacity is weird. Like this, this amount of control in the city is weird, regardless, because Baldur's Gate does have a watch. Um, they, Where they, is the watch, by the way? Um, they are also pre present, but there are just very, very few of them in the lower city. Do they seem scared or intimidated, or are they just going about business as usual? Uh, going about business as usual, but it seems like they're really pissed off at the Flaming Fist group. Hmm. They also look tired, like they've been running way more shifts than they normally do. <clears throat> All right, so you're heading to the upper city, yes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, good, good, good line, Deco. <laughs> we have no yeah. possibility to leap any distance, but only for conclusions. Um. Okay. Uh. Yes, yeah, so you get into the upper city, and the uh, you are stopped on the way by a uh, a member of the, uh, or two members of the city watch who are asking. Why the hell are you going to the upper city? Do you have business? Do you have paperwork? We need paperwork. Do we have answers? <laughs> do we have business? <laughs> uh, do they have the uh, armor or weapons made we by? Might have, we might have no? business. All right. They do not have uh, any weapons or armor that looks like it was made by your father. No. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, so you do you say I have business? Arrow yes. Point, barrel points to Mana and hides behind her. Uh, How many this, guards are there? Just okay. The okay, we're doing <laughs> fine. Yep. Just, just the two. Uh, they they sort of look at each other like, okay, weird day, and then <laughs> one turns to you, Mana, and goes. All right, miss, and what is your business, exactly? <sighs> there was... We came upon an attack on one of the docks the other day, and we were looking into seeing who caused it. Just concerned citizenry, after all. They both look at each other con uh, confusedly, and I'm going to roll something now. Oh, you didn't know? That's bizarre. I think the watch would do things. <laughs> not saying well, that. <laughs> they're they're not the watch. Um, they were the watch. These uh, two guards um, sort of take a moment, further block the path. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and then stare very, very pointedly into you, Mana. And wow, say, okay. What do you know about the attack, miss? Nothing. We came across it, or at least the aftermath of it. So what you're saying is you have no new information, huh? No. Well, then, I'll let you know that uh, we're... Thankful for your concern, but the matter is already being looked into. Oh, that is certainly okay. very reassuring. Thank you for all your hard work, gentlemen. I still they're both guys. I'm sorry. Yes. I, I couldn't hear you through the laughter. What? I assume they're both guys. They are both. They are, I... These two are, yes. Okay. Because that was a thank you for your hard work, gentlemen. No worries. There, I, I think I said they were both guys. Oh, I, I couldn't remember. <laughs> no worries. The, 
these two nameless guards are Ha-ha. perfectly okay with it. <laughs> oh, yep. clearly I want you to name them right here and now. No, don't. <laughs> so, were you hired to look into it, or is it of personal interest, or is that none of our business? I think the latter. Or the last. <laughs> uh, one of the guards raises an eyebrow and goes, I think you know which one it is. Yeah. I think I do. Well, I guess we'll be on our way. You don't want to try anything else to potentially get by? Because <laughs> all you did was... Uh, we could okay. try a different route. That's true. There are other routes. Oh, there's another way to... There's other openings to the city. It's just that the, the nearest one is the one you encountered those bozos at. <laughs> okay so i mean the the upper the upper city has places for shopping right uh yes if you're rich enough yeah oh don't worry about that I mean, we got money to spend you know we just want to go ahead and continue helping the local economy and zuri will kind of slip them each 50 gold oh <laughs> you know do we have money? I don't know if we have money. You started at level 10, and you just finished a job, so yes. True. We definitely have money. Mm-hmm. Um, However, what that is, is up for debate. 50 gold apiece, you said? Yeah. Well. Um, you hear one of the guards' stomachs rumble. <laughs> uh. As you pass him the coins. And he goes... Well, I mean, it is almost lunchtime, right, Carl? <laughs> uh, and uh, Carl nods, and they both quietly leave their post to go get some food. <laughs> All right, I guess we head on up. <laughs> yep. Have a good meal, gentlemen. Please. <laughs> They rolled a three on resist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they are yeah. uh, not very good at their jobs. That's fine. And now hey, I'm wondering good. if we could have just said, well, then we'll be on our way and then just walk past them and see if that worked. <laughs> <laughs> probably wouldn't have. That probably would have triggered, you know, at least some kind of uh, calling of more guards. Yes, okay. You are in the upper city uh, now, mm-hmm. and there are this is the uh, difference after, you know, going up the stairs into the upper city is immediately obvious. Um, the roads here are clean. The houses are nice. It's very clear that this part of the city gets a lot more attention paid to it than the lower city. Because all of the money is up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, if you are looking for the Four Dreamer ho- uh, household, the Four Dreamer Manor, uh, you will find that it is—it's uh, actually, unfortunately, it is this section uh, that is sort of hidden behind the phrase "Upper City." But, of uh, course, yeah. You see how the, uh, the there's like a walled area that's sort of a hexagon shape. Yep. That's their like whole household. Ah, uh, it's mm-hmm. it's large. Um, ah, so let me remove this pointer. Alrighty, um, everyone, roll a uh, stealth for me. <laughs> uh, I think yeah. I'll wait outside. <laughs> no, this is this is just as you're walking. Oh. Like, this is just as you're walking through the upper city. I didn't know we were being stealthy. <laughs> it's not, this is wow. not a, um, it's not a, like, a, a specific, you're trying to sneak or whatever. It's a, basically, it's a, how easily are you noticed by the other people? Very easily, in Finn's case. <laughs> Finn, I think you're the only one, and in your case, I think most of the people are just like, oh, that's some sort of night boy. He's fine here. 
Men men and Beryl clearly have that walk of they know where they're going and they have purpose, so they clearly belong here. I think everyone else is just like, everyone's just looking straight past you because they're all looking at Finn. (laughs) Um, with With his clanky, clanky armor. I'll occasionally give like a sheepish wave. <laughs> They'll wave back sheepishly as well because they're not sure if they're waving at them or someone behind them. <laughs> a pain, I think we all know. Mm, but yeah. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yes. It's, uh, uh, it's fairly easy for you to get around the upper city. There's a lot of uh, intriguing sights, sounds, and smells. Um some very fine music being played by uh, several people who appear to be uh, practicing the, the art of opera. Um, the uh, uh, plenty of uh, interesting smells coming from the uh, wealthy homes in their kitchens with uh, just open windows and pies cooling where no one's worried about some, uh, some homeless kid trying to steal it for sustenance hmm. um etc cetera, etc cetera. it's 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 very much you you just get the feeling that people up here do not remotely understand uh the struggles of those living in the lower city <laughs> yep um as as barrel's walking through she's going hmm bit of cinnamon in that one Mm, a little of apricot. Oh, that's a different smell. <laughs> mm-hmm. You certainly know your sense. Mm, cooking, my dear. Food is the lifeblood of life. Second favorite. Here, here I thought that that was always blood. Clearly I am ignorant in this fact. <laughs> Food makes blood. We all know this. That's basic science. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think you restock your blood? Your bones do it? No, it's the meat you eat. <laughs> and vegetables. Listen, listen, what is normal conversation? It doesn't exist right here. <laughs> yeah. That's true. No. Um, I'm just being goofy. Uh, so yes, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not terribly hard for you to find the, the uh, Four Dreamer manor. Uh, how would you like to proceed? Because it's currently closed off. Hang on. Like, is in the gates closed, or is in there are people guarding it that won't let people by? The gates are closed. There's okay. The guards up here are like they have stations. They don't just sort of stand at in people's homes. <laughs> and also, if they did, they probably wouldn't stand in the four dreamers' homes because the four dreamers have all sorts of magical knickknacks and whatnot. Hmm. I mean, I'm I'm about to make an assumption here, mm-hmm. but because rich people are rich people, yes. and is there anything about how the manor is or how it expresses itself that's similar to what we saw with the boat? Because clearly, one plus one equals two. Uh, no. <laughs> and people have a style. <laughs> no, this like I think the closest equivalent that y'all would be familiar with is, um this manor is trying really hard to be a wizard tower that isn't. Ah. Uh. Um, and the the boat uh, was certainly ostentatious, uh, but did not sort of resemble, like, it didn't have any signifiers of, ah, this thing is magical as hell. Aside from, Fair. Aside from the crew, I guess. <laughs> uh... Oh, I want to send my little invisible friend to hmm. inside to go check out as your, much as it can. Your invisible flying friend? Yes. Okay, perfectly <laughs> acceptable. Uh, hmm. Let me just check something real fast. Yeah. It's going to hit a wall, ain't it? <laughs> that or an alarm spell. Probably. You're going to sit on the other side of the street. <laughs> Talking to Beryl about cooking that I clearly don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> at so all. you light the fire and then pour the water on it? No. I assume is what Mana says. <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> Listen, it becomes very clear that you wonder how she survived. 
<laughs> water and raw fish, I assume. It seems so. Don't worry, I'll make you a good meal later. Ooh. So wait, you put you have to take the fish out of the water before you put it in the fire? Mm. <laughs> well, not well, only. I help. feel like two people in this are both like in agreement of no, I that's it's definitely you just eat the fish raw. And two people <laughs> here are very much going like no. <laughs> I mean you can, but you probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Might have some parasites in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know there was a book that said something about some society that had raw fish. But then also, you can boil things, and that's putting water and fire together? <laughs> yeah, it's heating up the water so that it burn, so that it uh, makes things very hot. But then you can also... While the thing is alive. And then you can just, like, put the fish on a stick in front of the fire and then do that? Well, there's yep. many ways to cook a fish. That's the thing. There's a whole <laughs> bunch of them. <laughs> Why there's you also... And... Yeah, there is also more food than just fish. Well, I was, I was talking about fish. <laughs> oh, Let's right. keep this small right now. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, you can introduce me to potatoes later, but I need to talk about fish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go ahead and have the closet roll perception for me. Hey, a 13 isn't bad. No, um, it's not. Is it good enough? Is it good enough is a good question. Uh, with a 13, you can see that the manor largely seems to be empty, uh, barring, uh, at least, you know, from the outside, it looks to be mostly empty because the, there's no open windows or doors for the closet to get into. Um <laughs> There is, however, uh, a young human girl in the courtyard uh, who appears to be practicing her mage hand. Hmm. She's got a, a little thing of weights. Uh, she's standing about uh, 60 feet away. I think it's 60 feet is the range. Um, I think it's 60 feet and can move 30 feet per round. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, let me just pull it up. Just to double check. 30 oh, feet. It's 30 feet, and then it can move okay. 30 further. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay, anyways. Um, it is a cantrip. <laughs> yeah, it is a, can it is a, a cantrip, fortunately. Um, but she's uh, practicing, like, lifting small weights from one table and moving them to another, just, like, in various locations around the courtyard. Hmm. Um. Nothing seems suspicious about that, aside from there is definitely someone in the courtyard who could see you if you potentially just, like, kicked a, <laughs> kicked a door down or something. <laughs> um, and Finn is very much against killing children. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think most of you probably are. <laughs> I don't know if Mana is, though. Mana. Yeah. Anyway, about those that cooking... <laughs> But you can flambe them, you can, you know, boil <laughs> them. That. that makes a soup, and it's not as good. This is the wrong conversation to jump into after talk killing children. <laughs> God. Yeah, kind of. Mash them, fry them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> we are talking about potatoes, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Clearly. Well, not potatoes. <laughs> We're talking about fish. That's fine, but... Again, we, we move fish on. Fish taters. <laughs> anyway. Um... <clears throat> So. I was going to ask if you mash fish, but there is fish paste, so I guess you can. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I'm, I'm only slightly sorry. <laughs> All right, so we are... What are we doing? Are we going to break into this house? Probably not. Okay, that's a good start. Breaking in is not the best idea. Okay. And seems to be empty, minus this child. Is it a child, or is it like a young girl? Like, age, Madoon, age-ish. Uh, based on what the Quasi can see, she's maybe 12. Okay. okay. So, like so maybe she's a we child. Can... Let's give her parents our home? Potentially, yeah. Again, gate's closed, so it'd be a little bit weird for, uh... uh are you just I gonna mean, knock at the gate and ask? 
We could do that. So what's Finn, on? you're Finn, you're innocent and clearly not threatening. You knock on I the mean, door. I'm innocent. <laughs> not sure about the not threatening part. I you, try not to be threatening, but you resemble a knight and you don't look like you're going to stab her. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got the folk hero thing going on, so yep. even though she's not uh folk <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah. In that sense, I think she might be able to. Listen, he's Only probably two. going to be nice to her and treat her like a not, child. <laughs> not great at talking to people, though. But I can try. Yeah, you can try. So, uh. I could help you, but I really shouldn't. <laughs> so, yeah, probably. Knock, knock, open Why? the door, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Uh, Give me just a moment to respond to some to something that uh, uh, Swest is asking me. Uh, All right. Passing the notes to Secretude. Secret, mm -hmm. secret, secret. I wish it was more exciting than that, but yeah. <laughs> more <laughs> of a preventative claw clause in case I get into stuff. Listen, it's it's better than my my stupid pokes in languages that I know Din that only understands. <laughs> uh, which I respond to. I probably shouldn't, but I do. You don't need to respond to that one. <laughs> um, uh, after a few short moments uh, of knocking, uh, you hear uh, someone approach. <laughs> Uh, and you hear a sort of soft voice uh, answer from behind the gate. Uh, who is it? Hi. I'm looking to hire myself for uh, any nightly duties that need to be done. Are your parents home? Um... That didn't really answer my question. Who are you? <laughs> a traveling knight. A name. Should have given him a script. Oh, uh, <laughs> Finn. Sorry. Any last name? I don't think so. Did you not take your father's last name? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I just wasn't, I just wasn't sure if you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was my father's last name again? Uh, I think I sent it to you. Uh, oh, it's I know where it is. Uh, let me just pull up your items real fast. Uh... But I feel like that's his first name, unless it's in the description. It Flame Stoker. Flame Stoker. Yeah, that's what it is. Yep, that's it. Was going to be in the description is where it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who makes last names anymore? <laughs> I'm. Yeah. I mean, you did for this one, and I Azure, did, and Azure did for the other game. So I feel yeah. like it's a reasonable response. <laughs> Anyways, um, but also no, no last name because, uh, you know, it's fair. Don't want to give too much information. moment just gonna do that real fast <laughs> um and also remember that this is being recorded so i uh, everyone will be able to see what you type in this <laughs> yep um uh you hear her go um okay um wait there for just a moment and i'll be right back to let you know okay thank you very much uh and, and i will stand okay <laughs> you uh you stand there for i'm just gonna roll a d6 20 minutes um all right <laughs> uh everyone roll perception oh good i love perception perception 
the guards are going to come back and we're going to get arrested. <laughs> no, no, this is a little simpler than that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you all see an arcane eye form over the gate. Oh. I wave. Uh, and let me just double check. It's, uh, it's the divination school. Right, right, right. Um, oh, wait, it's... Uh, all right, it's technically invisible, but there, I know there's uh, ways to make like it. It, uh, it is invisible, but there are also versions of it that are visible. So this is one of those. Um, mm -hmm. I know that because in Dungeon of the Mad Mage, Arcane Eye shows up as a thing a lot. Um. Uh, and after that, um. Uh, after a probably minute of watching, uh, the gate opens. Uh, there is no one on the other side. Hmm. I mean, open doors lead places. I mean. <laughs> hmm. I Did guess I'll in? excuse myself and head inside. Okay. Don't die. Uh, the gate does not close behind you. Oh. Okay. I guess we're all going. <laughs> well, I walk up to the door and knock. Okay, uh, come on in. Before you even have a chance to knock, uh, the door opens and you see uh, the brilliant smile of a uh, small stout woman wearing uh, some gorgeous blue robes uh and you you're taking you can take the wild guess based on uh her her messy hairstyle uh the amount of uh gaudy jewelry she's wearing uh and her the the wrinkles in her face that this is probably the matriarch of the family Ruth for dreamer um uh, well that so. was that was quick <laughs> uh, yeah hmm. she this is not the woman i attacked is it <laughs> No, no. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that she's not involved. It just means that you can tell from this appearance, probably not the person you attacked. Yes. Um, okay, that, that's the more important thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, that said, uh, she takes a moment to sort of like eye the four of you in person. She gets uh kind of uncomfortably close to you, Finn, and starts patting you down, like examining your muscles. Um, <laughs> uh, Errol is backing up. <laughs> uh, and she, Ruth, uh, chuckles a little bit and says, Oh, come in, come in. Are you all hungry? You look famished. Let me whip something up for you. And you see her uh, gesture towards the back uh, of the... You, the massive entryway to this house uh and you can see just beyond a doorway to the back there is a kitchen and everything in it starts moving on its own whoa thank you for your hospitality and i follow her inside I guess. it's fantasia the movie <laughs> um Data. i have started a charade and i cannot end it no you nope. can't no, it's fine <laughs> um uh. She uh she looks at the four of you. Uh Zuri, uh she takes a particular keen eye towards you. Uh really? and she's she's actually about your height. She is a very short woman. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> um and uh she uh she pinches your cheeks. <laughs> ah and uh, says, oh, it's been so long since I've seen a little kobold like you. Ah, oh, you're just precious. Would you all like some tea? Yes. Uh, she... Uh, or... she... Barrel sneaks up and uh, goes, oh, is that an unseen servant? I was thinking of taking that, but I didn't in the last minute. Um, she... <laughs> Uh, 
She nods and says, oh, yes, it's a little bit of a variant of the Unseen Servant. It's a little something I've whipped up over my years, but I, we're not here to talk magic. We're here to talk job opportunities, correct? Uh, and <laughs> she, uh, you see coming from the kitchen is the uh, little girl that uh, the closet saw from the courtyard carrying a... Uh, very large silver platter uh, full of uh, uh, teacups and uh, a, a tea kettle and uh, plates with little scones on them and uh, a little pile of sugar cubes and a little saucer of milk and all sorts of things. Uh, and it looks Ooh. like it's way too much for her to carry. <laughs> um, but she is trying to be helpful. Barrel will Barrel will run over and help her. Hmm. Um, she the the little girl appreciates it. Um, and uh, uh, you are directed to a fairly large dining table. Um, just off to the side of the kitchen area. And uh, uh it's made of this rich dark wood, uh, that seems very very old but very very well maintained there's an enormous chandelier above and the walls are just lined with books of all shapes and sizes uh it's it's this family has a theme and they are sticking to it <laughs> um, <Yep>. oh, I... <laughs> wow uh consistency yes and uh, yeah give it to them she uh she you know, gestures for you all to take seats at the table, uh, and then says, Oh, where are my manners? I'm so sorry. I'm Ruth Fordreamer, as you probably guessed. After all, you are in my home. Um, and you came here to me, of all people. I'm really mm -hmm. honored. Just, God, you all look so capable. Um, I, uh, you said your name was Finn, I believe, and what are your names? I'm uh, Beryl. I'm Zuri. Uh, 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 Mana. Mana Charybdis. <laughs> I need to stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> She's not laughing. I myself I am laughing. <laughs> um, uh, little, uh, the, she gestures to, uh, Beryl to put the, uh, tea tray down on the table and, uh, she will use her mage hand and the, the daughter will use her mage hand to sort of pass around teacups um, and uh, uh, the and start pouring the tea for all of you. Uh, sugar? Milk? Cream for any of you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, sugar. All right. She, she doles out uh, whatever amount of sugar you ask for. Uh, as well as uh, cream or milk, uh, and then dumps all of the rest of it into her own drink. I I see. <laughs> ah, a woman of taste. Mm, that might be a strong way of putting it. Uh, it's uh, fine. Barrel approves. Barrel completely approves. <laughs> she uh, she stirs it around and says, um, "So, what is it that brought you to my little home, if I might ask?" Well. As I said, and you have restated, I am looking for work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just curious why you would come to me of all people. Well, I have heard that you are the uh, leading experts in magic, mm -hmm. and I do have a fascination with the subject. I myself, well. I am primarily a uh, fighter. I do dabble in the arcane arts. I see. I see. What sort of magic have you learned, if I might ask? Mostly evocation. A bit of abjuration. Hmm. Fascinating. I would love to see what it, what it is you've studied. It's always very fascinating to me to see what uh, what... Uh, those who have not completely dedicated their life to magecraft have decided have have picked up and learned how their spell casting works. It's really just 
absolutely intriguing to me. Uh, she <laughs> takes a moment to down her uh, cup of sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with a little bit of tea in it. Um, cup of sugar with like three drops of tea. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So. Um, Lush. Yes. Uh, and uh, about the same time, uh, the plates of food are brought out from the kitchen. Uh, it's uh, it's nothing especially fancy. It's it's more like you know a a tea dish. Um, so you know, little sandwiches and uh, uh, a vegetable plates and some charcuterie. Um, oh, we're getting fancy now. Uh, mm hmm but uh not 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 like a big full meal because it's um it's maybe just a little after lunchtime yeah <laughs> it's tea uh, time yeah it's tea time uh and uh she looks to the rest of you uh and says uh so uh is it fair to assume you're a complete package or is this just uh a group hoping to in uh help further impress a uh, friend's capabilities wherever Finn goes, Zuri goes, it's Zuri part of the package. We're all a part of the package. It was uh, Finn's idea to seek you out after all, and why not? You are, it's clear that you're very ho hospitable right now. Finn is team leader. Good, good. I see. It's what a wonderful package you've got that right there. Um, how much are your services, if I might ask? Hmm, that's a good question. How much do people usually charge? I whisper among my teammates. <laughs> how much do I, they usually pay us with the borrowers? <laughs> out of character, I have no idea what the uh, going rate right is. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> uh, uh, it, I would say in character borrower rates are uh, probably lower than usual because it comes with a lot of other perks so I guess we'll just say I mean if it's the borrower rate it, uh, yeah. maybe higher because then it's like borrower rate plus one plus two if it's borrower if it's too, if it's too low you, no, then it's like it's enticing roll, cheap, but then let me roll intelligence to figure out a good rate. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that didn't go on the thing. There we go. Oh, oh that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll say that you come up with a reasonable number, and we won't get, we won't go into detail about what that number is. All right. <laughs> Until it matters Excellent. later, maybe. <laughs> um, and she says, uh. Well, it's, I have to say, you certainly did come at a most opportune time. There's been some terrible things happening in the uh, lower city, I've heard. One of, uh, one of my associates apparently had their boat attacked recently. Oh, terrible dear. <laughs> terrible, terrible things. Hopefully you'll be able to, uh, uh, protect our own investments. Uh, so, is there a specific time you wanted to start, or can I sort of send you off now? We can go now, yeah. Does that sound good with everyone? Uh, Zuri wants to finish the other point. After the tea, well, of, yes, course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> glug, glug, I mean, glug. you've already you've already set out food. It'd be a shame to put it to waste. <laughs> Alrighty, um... No objections to just going right after tea? Yeah, no. It's <laughs> fine. No objection. Sooner the better. Yeah. Alrighty. Um with that, I guess, uh did, did you want to ask her any other questions while you have her ear before she sort of sends you out? Uh what kind of job would it be? Uh, well, 
I have my own vessel on the docks that I'm worried about, and I just wanted to make sure that it's that it hasn't been attacked uh, in the meanwhile. I've tried to send some guards over, but the uh, the watch and the flame fist mercenaries appear to be having something of a dispute, and it's led to such terrible backlogs for us. Mm. Mm. Speaking of, we should probably get some uh, letter or something so that we don't get stopped going between the upper and lower city. Oh, of course, of course. Let me just, uh, and you see her go over to the enormous wall of books and she just grabs a sheet of parchment out from somewhere in the middle of it all. Uh, I, <laughs> brings it back. Uh, I, she, you see her take a moment, look at the front of it and go, Oh, this theory is so old, it's worthless. Flips it over. Uh, oh my gosh! And writes wow. out a very, uh, a very quick uh, writ of notice, I guess we'll call it. Uh, All right. With her signature on it and then a wax seal on the bottom. I do want to inquire about the ship you said that was attacked. We might have passed by something that looked as though there had been a commotion the other day. Do you know who it was yourself who was attacked? Oh, oh, yes, yes. It was, uh, um, sorry, my brain has skipped the names again. Um, <laughs> sorry. They're up there. Yeah, they're up there. Um, <laughs> Why are they up there? <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot that's happened since then. Uh, uh, she goes, yes, I believe it was, um, Oh, it was Drotty's ship. That's who it was. Uh, Drotty Scrimonzi, I'm sure you've heard of him. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, the mortician. Mm -hmm. He and I went to uh, the same classes back in the day. <laughs> uh, oh. He had a penchant for necromancy, and, well, we can't all go into the finer arts. Dang, why didn't I think a mortician would know necromancy? <laughs> uh. I'm going to be honest, out of the four names, that name was on the bottom of my list. <laughs> but it was on the list. It was on the list, but it was one that I was not considering. Mm -hmm. now I mean, I to feel be fair, so it is on the bottom of the list. Yeah. It also, it doesn't actually rule out anybody. It's just, that was his ship. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, but he's the one that know has the stuff that knows the things. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not wrong. <laughs> uh so yes, if uh if if there's no other questions, uh you are free to head back down to the docks if you so okay. desire, or to do something else. I mean, we can't just ditch out a job. Mm -hmm. Right? Finn's got a better work ethic than that. <laughs> uh, it's just Even if it was just a cover story. Mm -hmm. I'm in too deep. This is one lie. <laughs> too deep! Oh my gosh, it really is all just a lie. <laughs> yep. But, I mean, why not make the lie a truth, huh? Yeah, why I mean, not? That, it's not a bad lie. It could lead to something. Yeah. Pay yeah. Paycheck at minimum. Yeah. All righty. Uh, so you all head down to the docks, I assume, correct? Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Go. Um, Vera will uh, um, take off her hat and make a grand gesture and, you know, thank the lady for the tea and the food. I will bow. As I leave. An oh, awkward curtsy is what is better. <laughs> Mana just sees what everyone else is doing and yes. tries to follow along as best she can. Yes, we're, monkey, same. we're monkey see monkey do, clearly, with manners and cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Same for Zuri, just copy what the party does. Fair enough, fair enough. Zuri gets me. <laughs> um, so you are actually taken down to not... Uh, or the, you're not directed to um, the like area of the docks where the boats are. You're actually directed to this warehouse right here. 
Oh. Where? Um. It's a Pentagon. Yes, it is a warehouse. It also stores boats because it leads directly onto the water. But uh, military Pentagon. Currently, currently no boat inside. If if you would all like to roll perception on your way back to see if anything has sort of shifted in the city. I will always roll perception all the time, whenever you ask. I'll roll anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, I see. Mana continues to be on one mission. (laughs) A, a very the good... water. The water is nearby. Our our attention is elsewhere. It's fine. <laughs> hey, yep. we have a Jawa. Jawa. We'll shortly. All right. Uh. So yes. Uh. Uh. The. Are you going to go? Um. Pick up Yoga, or are you just going to have someone go pick her up while the rest of you go to the warehouse? Or is Yoga uh, going to go looking for her group? No. I'm going to go pick up yoga and hopefully explain the entirety of the lie. Alternatively, all one part of it. There might be a uh, bar on the way that yoga just walks out of. Also possible. Yeah, but the lie needs to be maintained. (laughs) All right, I have put all of you in the warehouse. And so here we are. Yes. Is standing guard from ourselves. The, uh, what is the warehouse? Uh let me I guess I need to share again. It's the part with the circle on it. Oh well, I'm just I mean I'm looking at images and maps, but maybe it's not. It's there. the Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Map. Right. I mean I see the Baldur's Gate map. I have it open, but it's the uh marker right. where all our tokens are. It's oh there. it's oh it's just on that map. Yeah. Okay. I yep. see it. Sorry, there's it's not, the Pentagon. There's not really a zoomed in version of Baldur's Gate. There's a few of them, but eh. there's not really a zoomed yep. in version of Baldur's Gate, kinda like with um Waterdeep. So uh yeah, this is the best I can do for right now. Or, Anyways. Here, how about this? That what happens is rather than Yoga coming out, the last fight she wins, the person she was fighting is fly flies out the front door. I figured defenestrated, but yeah, doors work too. <laughs> <laughs> I well, suppo- the, the individual flop is leaves the building <laughs> through the air one way or another. Uh, you won't believe the spin we got on this bar fight. Um, hmm. So yeah, uh, you. I, I will more than be more than happy to say uh, that on the way <laughs> towards uh, towards the warehouse uh, that that happened i'll i'll say that uh specifically since i had your old perception anyway uh barrel zuri you are the ones who noticed the uh the um uh uh person experiencing aerodynamics uh. and uh subsequently uh, uh barrel i don't think you quite know what it means zuri i think you know exactly what it means <laughs> somebody okay, said a fight not- Yoga is now a um an early an early model is a um early era rocket scientist. <laughs> Kaboom! Finn, I think you notice uh that the I think you notice that group from earlier uh now has two fewer people in it. The uh group with the cloaks? Yes. Hmm. It, was, it was about four earlier and now it's just two. And is it the same people? You can't tell. <laughs> Faces are. Kind do of I dark. know if that symbol has anything to do with magic? Uh, with that role you had earlier, possibly. Because old. Can I roll Arcana? Arcana? You can. You can try. Ooh, not great. Oh. Potentially, um, as same with the history role, uh, you know that it's, uh, it is an old, old symbol, which means it has the potential to be linked with magic, but you don't know specifically what, if anything. Hmm. I need to find a library somewhere. (laughs) 
I mean, you were just in maybe the one person who has all of the magic books, but... Uh, oh. uh, well, it doesn't necessarily need to be magic. That's fair. And we'll be back there to collect our pay. Potentially. Who would like to roll perception in the warehouse? Me. Always. <laughs> all the time. Okay, so... 27. So are we... Is it just those three in the warehouse, or is that everyone now in the warehouse? No, we're all there. Everyone should be there. Okay, yeah. so... yeah. Perception. Yeah, we got. No. Oh shoot! I accidentally grabbed too many dice. <laughs> no worries, it happens. Throw all of them. Ooh, some some decent rolls. Some bad rolls, actually, but with very good modifiers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and some decent rolls on top of that. So okay, uh, Beryl, Zuri, Mana. Um, you can tell that uh, this is. Uh, this this place kind of reeks of being owned by the four dreamers um in mm. a very literal sense uh this there's incense just all over the place it's not being shipped anywhere it's just whoever like manages this place burns a shit ton of incense mm. um and the the smoke is really cloying to you uh but nothing else looks especially out of place uh yoga you notice that uh there are a few boxes um uh, a few crates i should say that appear to have been uh moved recently um they're they were at a more prominent position uh closer to the area where a boat would sort of come in to gather things um and then they were moved to a back corner. And Finn, uh, with a 27, uh, you can see that uh, there are some very, like, underneath the smoke of all of the incense, there's actually quite a few runes drawn in place. Do I know what any of the runes mean? Uh, you <laughs> might. Roll Arcana. Okay. Do better. No. Eh. Technically. Um, technically. You did technically. Should have been more specific how better. Uh, you did technically roll better. Uh, with the 13, um, here is what you can tell. Uh, definitely magic. Definitely okay. not a school you're familiar with. Hmm. So not evocation, abjuration, or transmutation. Mm -hmm. uh, and three, definitely some potent magic up there. You know who might be better at magic than me? Me? Yes. Hello? Mana is probably better at magic than Finn. You would, uh, you would potentially, you'd be... Really? Yeah. Not you'd modifier, think. not really! <laughs> you'd think. <laughs> you'd think. What? You would, you might be incorrect, but... Finn, you're just having off day. Finn is nope. a smart boy who, uh, <laughs> overestimates others. <laughs> Meryl's listen, gonna... we, listen, we appreciate the so he, overestimation, he but <laughs> so gonna... I feel like this happened last session, too. It probably Finn has, did. Finn has so much self-confidence, he, he believes in other people for themselves. Exactly. Yep. Uh, believe in me that believes in you. Uh, yeah. yeah, you you get about the same mana, um... Yeah, Wait, can you read everything? I can read all languages, <laughs> but yeah, I don't think they're language. our language. And they have individual words, up. as Maybe. we learned in the Forgotten Ones. That's true. That is I very mean, true. Is the is the comprehend languages is that automatically, or do you need to do something for it? Well, that's not comprehend languages. That's eyes the of the Sorry, eyes, uh, Read all writing. It's in technically it's writing. It says you read all writing. Okay, then give me a moment. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, I will tell you. Yeah, I no. love this evocation for this exact reason, but I also apologize for this evocation for this exact reason. Because <laughs> it means if it's written, you can't hide anything. <laughs> no, no worries. I'm just, uh, I am just putting out, uh, I'm, I'm just going to write down the six words that this uh, uh, has, uh, that the runes say. 
Uh, and I'm going to say, uh, since you are reading magic uh, of a higher level than you um, possess. possess, this is going to do the same thing as like attempting to use a scroll of higher level. Uh, go ahead and take, uh, let me, I'm just going to go ahead and roll on it. So what happens if you attempt to use a scroll of higher level? You have to roll. You, oh. you have to roll or you take some psychic damage. Oh, ah, your brain can't handle the knowledge. Oh, whoops, it didn't do what I thought it would do. Give me a moment. Oh, shit. You have got no. to be kidding me. You just took 20 psychic damage. Wow. Ow. Was that max damage on 2d10s? That's max damage on 2d10s. <laughs> uh, uh, your, your, your brain hurts. Uh, but you do know what it says. And it says... I'm going to have to whisper it to you. Um, so, Wait, did she roll? Uh, no. No yeah, rolling? There... Technically, yes, you were supposed to, you are supposed to roll, so I apologize. Go ahead and roll. It's okay. Roll a D one. Is it a con save? God, I can't remember. Um, Sounds like if it's magic. Uh, yeah. it be higher than level. Uh, it's an ability check. Uh, ah, okay. Yes. Um, it's DC plus the spell's level. Okay, yeah, roll a d20, please. Mm. And your spellcasting ability is... Charisma. So... And your charisma is... It is a plus five. So you wow. rolled a 16 there. Yes. Uh, let me... Unless it's a save in which I rolled a 20. Hmm. <laughs> that spell uh sorry i'm double checking like stuff right um okay that uh it's a variant on this spell so okay um hmm. No. <laughs> wow, okay. I just noticed that half of the party has 83 health. Yeah, it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that's not intentional. It's just funny. Yep. Uh... Uh, oops. Let's see. So is it just Finn that took, like, that... Like no, it's just Mana. It's just, no, I, I can't read it. Mana who took it since she's the one who's actually trying to read it. Um, because sure, why not? Hmm. Oh. Sorry for that thump. I was just sending what the six words are. Ah, very heavy words. <laughs> they are, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure Din realizes exactly which word my eyes were drawn to. Yep. Hey. Yep. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> a boat enters the warehouse. Okay. Uh -oh. Um, it's a small boat. Appears to be maybe a dinghy of some kind. Um, doesn't look like it's designed to carry all that much. Uh, and then the runes light up. And you hear several words. Specifically, Mana Charybdis, Finn, Zuri, Beryl. Uh, that's us. And the uh, four of you feel compelled to walk onto the boat. Oh. No. <laughs> hmm. but, so but, what were the what did those what did those runes say? Uh, it's, it's, I, I want. 
<laughs> but yo- oh, but boy. yoga isn't compelled to. Yoga is not, because you are not with them. Ooh. What? Okay, okay um... Listen, I, I do want to say, <laughs> say that I actually do want to dispel, because I... I was just mostly like pausing because of that that fr- that one word, but yeah, no, we wanted to dispel that. Cause who knows, whatever. Um. Okay. Uh. Or try to. <laughs> I right, don't know. I'll, I'll <laughs> Too late. To, I will need you to roll a a, a d twenty. Okay. Because, before before cause... um before you, I mean, is it is this an a situation where I could, um, where I could use my, I mean, would there, where I could use guidance? Uh, I think you have the brief time period too, yes. Okay, yes, then, um, presuming Yoga has some idea of what's going on, she is going to use guidance on mana. All right. I mean, does it help that it's automatically cast at fifth level? Because that's the highest level I have. <laughs> uh, so, uh, no, because it's higher than a fifth level spell. Okay, no, I fair. I, I wanted to double check because it's... Is, is this that... a uh, charmed effect? No. This okay. is dominate person being cast at eighth level. Oh, ow. Um. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't think I got anything. For no, that. why didn't you go in the <laughs> in the box? Eighteen. That was no. Okay, <laughs> I, it probably won't help, but you can add a D four on top of that. It won't help. So... I'm staring at the eighteen that I originally rolled. <laughs> so, do we get the wisdom saving throw? Um, the let me double check Heck the specifics on it. Uh, that just made dominate person. Okay. Yes, uh, it is a wisdom saving throw, but you are. It's. I am just going to let you. Too know. high of a thing. It's it's going against a level twenty on a mancer. So. Hmm. Uh. Mm. Let's see if my plus two wisdom has anything to say about that. Nope. I bet it, not. Uh, does as much as try. Try. And that was actually a check. I meant to do a save. Same thing. <laughs> that is the same thing. Check, um, save. So Get on the boat. <laughs> let me let me just be extra double sure about uh, a twentieth level wizard. Um. Uh, spell casting modifier. <laughs> We're good. Um, <laughs> so it's a plus six proficiency bonus. Uh, and at her level, it's probably a whole plus five uh, intelligence bonus, so, so an 11 plus eight, so it's a 19, so I actually think technically fail. Oh. I believe you technically succeed. Cool. I just, just failed. <laughs> I just failed. <laughs> Unexpected, but cool. Uh, uh, Beryl, would you like to roll wisdom as well? A wisdom saving? Yeah, it's a wisdom saving throw. And you are trying to hit a 19. Ay, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, three of you feel very compelled to get on the boat. Uh, Finn and Yoga, okay. you uh, Finn, you just barely get past the, the omnipresent voice in your head. Uh, and mm. Yoga, you don't feel anything, but your friends are sure acting weird. <laughs> Okay, is and, it uh, okay, Im- important question yeah. is is there ways is there ways for someone to break someone out of a domination like can you if you if you hit them hard enough? Uh <laughs> apparently each time the target takes damage new wisdom saving throw, but other than that I'm not seeing a way. Mm-hmm. You could technically punch everybody, but you're very good at punching. I'm not sure you want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that is that is the problem. If, I mean, even if even if she pulls her punches, ah, she, can man. Still, she can still. Al- alternatively, and then Zuri's over there being cute. Mm-hmm. Zuri is really cute. <laughs> like, could I mean, I, I I wonder how much I'm trying to stretch this here. Like, to um, is it 
like pos- I, I I'm really wondering if I'm trying to stretch here with what I'm trying to think. Like if it's possible to like not like no. get someone to unconsciousness without Well, we don't need to make them unconscious. Okay. Well, I mean, if you really wanted to, I'm sure you could just you could. do non-lethal damage and punch someone out. I'm completely... Yeah, I was thinking about right just, like, <laughs> just grabbing Mana and then slapping her on the face a bit, but I think I mean... <laughs> to do, like, one damage, but I think uh, that adds your strength modifier, mm-hmm. so it'd be, like, five damage, which... Uh, how, much, how much HP does Zuri have? We all have a lot. No one's taken damage except for me. Yeah, yeah Zuri's got 76. Maybe, maybe yeah. punch Zuri, but use the thorn whip. To pull her off the boat? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna well, say we boat. all get on the boat anyway, because why not? Except Finn can't swim with armor, so that might well, be why. Yoga, Yoga has her, her, uh, her spider slippers, so she could like hide on the back end of the boat. Or you could also just get on the boat. Oh, I just realized it doesn't matter what happens on the boat. I'm completely fine. You guys are yeah. fine. <laughs> I, can, I, so, uh, I can breathe underwater. You sure can. I can breathe. <laughs> nice try trying to murder me. Huh? You don't know that it's trying to murder you. It's just saying to get on the boat. Is there a way I can deal one damage to them? By punching me. Well, no, because then that would do five. It's just do it. Fine, I slap Mana in the face. <laughs> Snap out. And yeah, Yoga Yoga will will um will use that thorn whip on Zuri. Alright. Uh you can all uh, I guess go ahead. I mm. I'm assuming that I'm gonna make the wild assumption that this order is strong enough that it's not going to like you're going to subconsciously try to dodge or anything, so I guess, I think for Thorn Whip, you still have to make an attack roll. Yeah, because you could miss. Yeah. I don't think you're going to miss uh, Finn at short range unless it's a, uh, like, you just can't bring yourself to do it kind of thing. I mean, <laughs> okay, maybe so- not against Zuri, but <laughs> I could probably lightly smack Mana. Probably. Okay, so I'm just making a base melee spell attack, so I just roll a, what, a d20 for that? Yeah, I believe so. I think it should say on your sheet. If you go to action, or, yeah, your actions tab, you can whip, display it's action. It's a melee spell attack against the target. Yeah, there's, if you, um, if you go to your actions and then open the magnifying glass on Thorn Whip, you can just hit the sword to press attack. Or if you change the display to actions, you can press the, uh, and that looks like a die. Yeah, also true. Mm-hmm. I technically just rolled, but since I was just doing it to double check things, I'm not going to count that roll, which is good because it was a seven. <laughs> right. That is a miss, unfortunately. Uh, I think mm, you're okay. I think you're th- you're just uh, you're on opposite sides of the warehouse, so I think it just like whizzes past Zuri at just the wrong moment. Uh, so, Mana, go ahead and roll Wisdom Saving Throw again. I'm just going to go ahead and add five damage to you. Mm. Uh, nope, you're still feeling it. Yeah, well, I figured. All right. Sorry, I'm I really you. wishing that that 18 had rolled <laughs> to dispel it. Oh, Should well. I try again? Yes, I can take it. It's fine. Carol, would you like your mastiff to try and uh, try and knock you out of it? That would Beryl be nice. Yes. Barrel uh, has a, go- a magic dog. Uh, <laughs> it's we have a good dog. Us. Avis, Avis will always be in in campaigns where someone else has the dog. I yes. All right. So. Dogs I guess are great. And I guess I, I will also then slap the other cheek. <laughs> yeah. Give me a moment to double check the stats on Fine Steed. Uh, okay, so it's a massive. Oh, it is a. Yeah, it's a casting time of 10 minutes, but he's been following us. Yeah, no, I, I assumed the dog's been following you for a while. Um, so let me go ahead and I guess I have to just pull up NPC for Mastiff. 
it's a big dog. Uh, it's going to. Why am I? No, don't don't just grab a thirteen. I oh, need hey. to roll. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think the dog also misses you. <laughs> I think it's. I think it has more problems trying to hit you than uh, than mm. uh, Finn has it's trying to hit Mana. It's probably yeah. still trying to get in the in the warehouse. Good. Also, possibly. unfortunately, I can't re-roll your saves. Nope. Only my own in attack rolls made against me. Yep. I do have dispel magic, but it's for every each spell fourth level or higher on the target make an ability check using your spell casting ability yeah i tried to use it on this before it started it didn't really work cuz i rolled it really doesn't doesn't yeah. know barrel i mean since they basically just met so she's not really going to know hey maybe i should target this new person also true that's fine mm -hmm. um go ahead and make another roll i guess uh mana you just took another five damage. Did you wanna Yoga, did you wanna try and uh knock some sense into Zuri again? Hey. Alternatively, I mean you're big enough, you could probably just pick her up. Do it. Anyway, let's get on the boat. <laughs> Why? You said Beryl is a is a halfling, right? Yes, yep. Beryl's a halfling and Zuri is a small kobold, so both are probably capable of being picked up by you. Yes, yeah, I'm only Yoga will tall. do that. Yoga will go over to Zuri, pick Zuri up, then go over to Barrel and pick Barrel up. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm even going to have you roll strength for that, just because <laughs> I'm just going to say you're grappling <laughs> both of them. So it's you're not fast right now, but you sure do have both of them. And boy, how anime is it that the generic anime protagonist was the only one to not get affected by the not dominate the, person? Not the only one. <laughs> Well, the only one that was targeted by it <laughs> to not get. Fair I mean, it really doesn't. I mean, it, you you can't really say one way or another. If Yoga wasn't was just wasn't targeted by it in the first place. I mean, she wasn't targeted by it. Well, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry, really, I love Zuri's little thing. Zuri. <laughs> um. She's good. Zuri sounds like she's singing at this point, just waiting for the boat to go, but she gets picked up and it's like, okay. <laughs> the boat does not appear to have a pilot, I'm going to say, or a captain, I'll say. I mean, it's the magic boat, obviously. Magic boat? It wants to drown us, though, or drown you. I can't drown. <laughs> it might. You don't know that. I'm just saying. It, the, that's it might just take a. I'm someplace. saying what one of the runes said. Yes. <laughs> not, I am not oh, saying what Hey, one of what the did the runes say? say? Name, power, control, dominate, sentient, and drown. Oh. I'm pretty sure it wanted to kill us. And now both of my cheeks hurt. A lot. It might just... Oh, sorry about that. Had to be done. It might yeah. just be that they'll uh, drown in the power, overwhelming power. Eh. <laughs> Gonna but... stare at you. I mean, here here is the thing I'm going to say. Uh, if if they wanted you to just drown, this place is already connected to water. Surely mm -hmm. the command would have just been there. in the water. I mean, but then that would also... Damage, eventually. Point to whoever owns the warehouse and the boat. If it drowns us at sea, then it's not mm -hmm. their fault. It's the boat's fault, or maybe our fault. <laughs> okay, so Yoga's so gonna... what would I roll to know if I know that the caster of the spell connects telepathically with the person they cast it on, or was that only within a hundred feet? Um, I with this being rune based, I think it's going to function differently. Yeah. So I think because it's you... also concentration, so yeah, so another different thing there. I, the the thing about this is that it's 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 functioning on some wildly different stuff. <laughs> okay, so Yoga's going to hold up the two short people she is holding on to and kind of shake them just a little, kind of indicate, okay, what do I do with these two people? Uh, Don't let them get on the boat. Let's go for a sail. No, we'll go later, not now. 
Oh, mm. but I want to go now. Not now, Zuri. <laughs> and go fishing. Zuri, not fish. now. And then we can cook the fish. Zuri, can... Zuri. What? what? Not now. Later. Oh. All right. I guess let's go back and ask for answers. You, you want to? Because walking to... right back into their house oh, seems like a perfectly you know, reasonable idea. You know. If, if it weren't for the fact that we still have two people being dominated, we could just let the people get on the boat not being dominated. Let the boat Well, that's go. what I was thinking. I but mean, I can't swim. It outright. T- uh, she asked us what our names were. It knew our names when, it, when the spell was cast. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting all of you to actually use your real names. <laughs> you know, I mean, I expect that from me and Zuri, but. Wasn't expecting that from. Listen, I was taken off guard with the tea and food. Don't, yeah. don't judge me. <laughs> yeah. I guess you've got an unexpected side to you too. You know what? <laughs> she was very nice. She was. It really which was. Honestly, should have been the first flag. It. It should have been. It was. And then I decided to ignore it because I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. I figured I could con save my way out of poison. But there wasn't poison. <laughs> nope. No, no. A wizard, a wizard does not use poison. A wizard goes for more fun methods. Poison? Ha. Zuri's a lowercase dragon. She could survive poison. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lowercase dragon. Okay. Well, I mean, you don't necessarily. Uh, the the thing is, there are plenty of other boats on the docks. So, I mean, like worst case scenario is you could just grab another boat and follow that way if you wanted. All right. So, yeah. Mana, get on the boat. Uh, why? I thought we just discussed because it. Getting you on the boat can the live. Night. I'll get. I don't want that boat to sink with me on it. You can. You'll be fine. I will not. If it oh. sinks. Why does she get to go on? Because, because it's she's not for me to drown. And she's not being mind controlled right now. Uh, so I hate when you make sense. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can figure out where it goes. And can Yoko walk on water yet? The tenth well, level? She, yes. Yeah. yeah. But that said, it, she's got her spider slippers so she can hold on to things so I'm wondering if she could like hide at the very bottom. Like, I mean, you could get on the boat. You could hold onto the side of the boat. You could walk behind the boat. You yeah, have ride, plenty of ride, options. Ride, yeah, ride on the boat in like a stealthy location. In the meantime, I will grab the two smaller people and find a different that I won't know how to pilot. I uh, can pilot. Fine, I'm going to get on the boat. Best case scenario, I'm going to find a shark. I'm going to swim my way home. <laughs> you, could also, like, okay. you could also just quickly use a rope to tie a smaller boat to the dinghy. Alternative, uh, yes. Alternatively, um, <laughs> let's do that, I guess. Alternatively, Yoga could hold, could hold on to the boat, and then Flynn could ride piggyback. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I doubt I It'd doubt that would work. He's, he's, a, he's wearing heavy armor, so... I'm wearing heavy armor, and... Well, Yo- yeah. I mean, Yoga could hold onto the boat, and she could sandwich Finn between herself and the boat. Let's let's just get a smaller boat to tie I'm to just going to go onto the boat and just wait for it to leave, because it's... Yeah, let's just tie a boat to the boat and get on that other boat. Let's do that. Yeah. I, I'm going to say that's fairly easy. This is This is a dock. This is a port city. It's fairly easy. Yoga's still going to do the stealthy method since she wasn't there, so... Perfectly reasonable. All right. Perfectly reasonable. All right. Uh, so we let Zuri go on the magic boat and Beryl can go with me on the smaller boat? No, Zuri is not going on the boat. What are you talking Well, <laughs> Zuri wanted to go on the boat. Oh. <laughs> that boat calls to me. Zuri, no. <laughs> Oh. But I figure we shouldn't split up more than just being in a different boat. 
and well, okay, they can both come with me, I guess. Yay! We're going fishing. You go on the smaller boat. Yay! You're boat. going on a you're going on a fishing trip with Finn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <all right. laughs> I'm talking to children. <laughs> kind of. Where Barrel? Where's your mass? Which boat is your massive going to get on? Uh, with Barrel. With Barrel <laughs> makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Kind of crowded here. It's a very crowded small boat. <laughs> Between between the uh, between the four of you and the boat is the the other boat is only carrying. My and boy, body. can I not swim? Boy, can you not swim? No. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh, the boat departs uh from the dock, and uh, it heads uh not towards the sea. It actually heads uh out this way, and further down the Chionthar River. Ah, uh, I see. So, now, am I, tell me, is that the direction oh. of the place that we're actually supposed to be going? Um, no, but neither direction was really in that way. You're supposed to be going north, and this is going east. Okay. Now, I was just thinking, are we, I mean, is we're basically moving further away from where we're supposed to be going right now. There's no rush to go where we're going, because... <laughs> Priorities yeah. have been stated. <laughs> We're also and there's no rush to that mission. Not exactly. We probably shouldn't be going on. Well, this now river. we can't, so it doesn't matter. We could turn back because I mean, we should probably understand. not leave the city right now. I mean, I, I mean, I understand from an out-of-character perspective why we don't want to go that direction. <laughs> I'm just thinking it's amusing that it, that from an in-character or narrative perspective, we're we 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 we're, we are making negative progress before we even make progress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. sort of, kinda. I mean, to be fair, the um, like. If you wanted to go to uh, like a, a major roadway, technically you would take the river. Yeah, it's just not the fastest, but it, it is where like uh, uh, there is a trade route through it, through that way or on that way. Um. Okay, <laughs> sorry, please. <laughs> I'm not um, even on the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just from behind. So, all right. So, uh, how long would you like to follow this boat? Uh, we get off before it leaves the city. Okay. Uh, so, do you get off uh, towards the outer? Like, the, the boat's going to go to, like, the middle of the river. So, and it's a, yeah. it's a fairly wide river. Um, so, uh... so, when do you cut the rope? And uh, uh, where do you lead your other boat? Let's see. I'd say once it gets about here-ish, and then we lead it back this way maybe okay any objections nope mana what about you i want another boat <laughs> jump off the boat swim you're good at that aren't you yeah all right <laughs> yeah i was just trying to jump off the boat then uh, okay I feel like that she's watching the other boat as her boat's going wherever and the moment that anyone starts getting off of their boat, she just jumps off, because, sure. Okay. The borrowers, <laughs> a game of boats. Oh, actually, we should probably have someone investigate the boat first. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna have you investigate the boat. Um, Yoga and Mana, you can both use investigate on the boat before you depart it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Wee! <laughs> Yoga, I think you're a little too focused on being one with the boat. 
<laughs> yeah, she, she, I mean, I suppose she's technically investigating, but she really doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let me, whoops, that's not the right thing. Uh, let me pull up. Uh, you don't find much. It is a very small dinghy. Um, that's not designed for carrying cargo. Um, you find a different symbol, Mana. Oh. More okay. symbols. Yay. Ah. Uh. Okay. You find that very small uh, symbol carved into uh, the, like, just below the um, uh, the uh, wheel of the ship. It's familiar at all. <laughs> I'm not staring at words that <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> treasure, right? Go ahead and roll uh... what would be a good skill here? Religion? Arcana, history? I would Arcana. say history in this case. Oof. With advantage. Okay. Ooh. Water related, I see. Hey! <laughs> Someone loves me up there! It's your We're water patron. There. It's down there. Very far down there. It's fine. <laughs> let me just... <laughs> let me just check one other thing very, very quickly. Does the boat explode? No. The boat uh, continues good. down the river. Um Who, who's still on it? Uh it's it, all the uh, the only people that were on it were um you and Mana and Mana jumped after investigating. Cuz Mana can has a swim speed and Mana also can breathe underwater. <laughs> so So the 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 this is the magic boat. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the magic boat. The boat that potentially might have drowned us. Potentially. Potentially. Potentially is a very big word. So so I'm confused now because I was under the impression we were following the boat all the way to its destination. Well, no, we didn't want to leave the city. We didn't want to leave. We this one, to do this the city. was like just made. Yeah. Uh, are we are we still trying to find out where the boat goes? Ooh, uh, probably send the closet after it. I can leave the closet on the boat. <laughs> True enough. So should Yoga not still be riding on the boat? Yoga is now getting off the boat with Mana. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like just abandon just ship, Yoga. Abandon ship. Walk back to the docks. Oh, is the ride over already? Yes. Uh, we'll go on another boat ride later, Zuri. Oh, yay! Mm, but only really when wanna... only when I or Finn tells you. Okay. I mean, okay. Like, okay. I, I mean, I feel like Yoga would be really tempted to just keep riding and find out where it goes. I mean, if you want to do that, Finn physically cannot stop you. I mean, the literal, the only reason that Mana got off is because she saw the other group in the other boat just start. Well, I let you off. know. I would, of course, yell it out before cutting the rope. Hey, we're leaving the city, so we're gonna not. So. I love what, what, sorry. What, I why love, are we? Why are we? Why are we not leaving the city? We still have things to do here, and we don't know how far that boat's gonna go. And Burl's gonna cook with the booze. Yo, yo, Burl, yo, Burl, Burl needs to teach us how to cook. Properly, because apparently none of us, I don't know how to cook at all. Yoga I burn water. Yoga is going to give the biggest sigh and the biggest full head eye roll and then swim to shore. You can just walk to shore, actually. <laughs> yeah, you can walk on water as a monk at that level. Well, I was under, so can she just do it casually? Because I was in the impression yeah. of more of thing that yeah. you, have to, you have to like run, you have to run and you can't end your turn on it. It well, what's the set? What's the right? It functions slightly differently in non-combat scenarios. Yeah, yeah. Technically, is, the is, turn never ends. Is how I treat that. It's. I think yes, you have to run, but like, it's not. You, you you're fine. Um, and I okay, believe does it's, it make a difference that she was pretty much in the water, mostly in the water at the time? Wait. 
just build on up build up enough speed and i think you can go anyway all right far, fair enough um it's which one is it um, that is a good question and i don't remember uh hold on i gotta finish sending a, a message to mana all right <laughs> So, so is Beryl back on the land yet, or is she still wanting to get on that boat? Um, Zuri, Ma, uh, Beryl, you both still really want to get on that boat. Mm. You're going to feel that way for about eight hours. Oh, yay. That's me out of character saying that. Boats, <laughs> <laughs> um, boats. Yay, boat! It is free, wonder if the Mastiff can do anything. Um, I'll say that, like, over time, you can, uh, like, it's eight hours without any sort of intervention. I'm going to make the wild assumption that y'all, that I'm going to give you, like, time to sort of nat 10 your, or nat 20 your way out of it with enough time. So <laughs> don't worry. You'll, you won't actually feel it for the full eight hours. It's just that would be the full duration of the spell. Um. Yeah. Oh! So I have sent, oh! I have sent a message to Mana. Um, I will find out what thing it is that lets monks run on water later because it's not important. But you're an elemental monk, so clearly yeah. you can do it anyway. I, I, I well, just, it's cool enough. Could have sworn that was a thing that monks had, but is, I can't it's find it. It's unarmored movement. Ah, there we go. Yes. Oh. Yeah, well, starting at second level, you're speeding. Ah, uh, yes. Speed when you are not wearing armor or wielding a shield. Increases at ninth speed. level, you gain the ability. Level. At ninth level, you gain the ability to move along vertical surfaces and across liquids on your turn without falling during this move. Yes. During the okay. Yeah, so, so you, as long as you are moving, yeah, you then can it's get fine. Water. Um, it's like I, I was just about to say, like I know I did this because when when Jonk fought a monk. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ability found. Yeah. There was also that uh, Dungeons Against <laughs> no, Humanity I'm thing her. where my monk character just should walked up walls. Should, should should speed be at a higher at a higher level in my base sheet? Uh, your speed is currently thirty. And... So yes, probably. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it should it should be much higher than that. Uh, I don't know why it didn't upgrade. I might have, um, um, I might have done something wrong. Uh, tenth level, it should be an additional twenty feet. So I'll just go ahead and do this. Whoop, whoops, should be should be fifty. There we go. <laughs> so this this symbol was on the boat that it was on the boat. Yes. It's hidden or just like blatantly? It's not blatant, but it, it was carved very, it was a, a very small symbol carved um, just underneath the um, the ship's wheel. Huh. So and not she blatant, owned... not hidden. And she, and she owned this boat? Presumably, yes. Huh. Fairly safe assumption that the boat probably belonged to her given that it showed up right as the spell activated. And also, I bet it looks like it was owned by her. Yeah, it's... It's... Well, actually, no. This 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 dinghy oh. was probably as inconspicuous looking as possible. Oh, um, kind that's of, unexpected. Probably intentionally, but I think... I'm not going to say, like, it's a completely unreasonable conclusion to reach that this boat was probably owned by the Four Dreamers. Hmm... <laughs> Hmm. Assume that we're gonna be let onto the boat that y'all are cut away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you find we're, anything on the boat? We're going straight back to Ruth right now. That she was has some the plan. To do. Ruth is, Ruth is yep. and now it's personal. Ruth is the person who cast that spell and sent the boat. Okay. She was. Yeah. Just a thought. Remember, perhaps Yoga should Ruth wait Ford outside Dreamer? or wait at some position where she'll be able to jump in if needed, but won't give away that. Oh, hey, there's another person. 
I mean, it's a manner. Like, you'd have to yeah. be, like, outside of gates in order to not be noticed. Mm-hmm. But um, she was so nice. Or how about, she was, yeah, but... How about mm, more of this? Don't some... tell her your actual name. Yeah. So think, think of a name to call yourself that you would give her that is not yoga. Did you say Yoda? Yoga. I mean, you could use Yoda. That's not you Yoda. You could use Yoda. That's not wrong. It's not. It's still not yeah. your name. But the point of the matter is, <laughs> that way you could come in with us. Options. There are lots of options. Solga Stony. Susan. Stone Yoga Soul. I get the distinct feeling y'all don't know crap about onomancy. <laughs> yep. No. Yep, that is correct. No. I mean, no. I could, could roll to see if I've heard about it. But I probably have not heard it. I myself don't even know what words you're spouting out, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, know this, I know this I know this isn't the first labor, but you speak in Greek to me. <laughs> and I know since they the name on the thing was Beryl, um th- that had to be from her because she, Beryl wasn't mixed up in the mess from before, so from only her. Mm-hmm. Um, She's the only one we've told our names to recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how'd she get to the dock that quick? Maybe she had it prepared beforehand for weird guests. Wait, what? What did those runes say again? Going oh, yeah. up. Name, power, control, yeah. dominate, sentient, drown. There you go. Name. Name. Insert name. Uh, okay, so. Different. Yeah. Especially because it's runes. Looking up onomancy, one of the things they can do is extract name. They sure can. Mm. So, mm. of course, it'll be a little bit obvious, and it's kind of uh, you know it takes a little bit of effort, so you'd be able to do something in the meanwhile. But yeah, and it is a There's a also- thing you can save from, and it's a charm thing. Yeah. There's also so many easier ways to get names out of people. people it's like just asking. Just just introducing yourself is a, is a real easy way to get it. <laughs> yep. I mean, like, Finn and Zuri probably would have given the names anyway. Mm-hmm. Mana was caught off guard because I assume she wouldn't do that usually. Oh. <laughs> Was after- Let's not talk about it. Like honestly, I'm a little surprised Mon is actually her real name. Listen, let's not talk about it. <laughs> it's good. Right. Yeah. This this makes me sound like just going straight back and saying, "Hey, what did you do? That was wrong." Is that makes that sound maybe this isn't a good plan. I mean, we're not going back to say, hey, this is wrong. We're going back to get answers. No, you're going back for answers. I'm going back because she has a symbol of the crushing wave on that boat, and I need to know exactly why. Okay, can you pin what symbol, so what is a symbol of crushing wave? Jawa, you were, you, Jawa was trying to say something. What were you saying, Jawa? Rip. Well, I, I mean, I was kind of asking, like, what's the relevant, I mean, what's the relevance of the symbol? Well, I just told you that there was a symbol now, so, uh... So yeah, uh, I asked, what was the symbol? What does it uh, mean? So every there's a very long pause, and then there's a really bad sigh, and she will actually tell them. Um, it's a symbol that um the people of her order. It was engraved on their chest every time they've been buried. Hmm. That sounds like people get buried more than once. But it's... Din, it's just 
my group i'm understanding the, what, sorry when i said that it's not yeah. it's not the or it's not something your order did it was after the attack Oh, everyone you buried had that symbol on. Them. Okay, mm. yeah, I completely misunderstood. No worries. So they're like your sworn enemies. Yes. So the well, people who had the symbol killed everyone I knew and loved. Okay. Sounds like the four dreamers might end up being ruthless after all. <laughs> so Sounds yeah, like we're, so we're going right back, and we're getting this answer now. <laughs> I, this this is a. 20th level wizard, right? Yeah, she's a 20th level on a mancer. And we want to just walk walk right in and confront this on a mancer about this thing. Listen, yeah. Mana is a yeah. horse with blinders on. You are totally willing to try and remove those blinders, I, but she's focused. Zuri will ride that horse into battle. I just, I just <laughs> gotta say real fast, I'm freaking loving just from a from a personal standpoint. The fact that the person going, I think you are charging in recklessly and doing a bad idea, is Jawa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when compared to Forgotten yeah. Ones. It, Listen. Least... <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I mean, Yoga loves to fight, but she does have, I mean, but she's not completely stupid about it. No. Honest, you put one thing and it's called vengeance. <laughs> it takes, uh, everything else takes a back seat. <laughs> icy, icy vengeance. Mm -hmm. okay. The vengeance is why we're still in uh, Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so, so I, 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 I mean, I know for most people, but it's the fact that I, I have, I'm not really in a position to try and make this argument in character or make it with the voice because I like to do that. But mm -hmm. I, I here, here's my consideration: is the idea of just just marching in there with vengeance against the person who's way above you versus thinking it out and, you know, fighting in the most advantageous way possible. I mean, I'll, I'll hand you, I'll hand you this right now. Her priority is going back to this person who is clearly associated with the people who killed every single person that she knows and love. And is essentially uh, her reason, her burning reason for continuing to live it. You're welcome to um, try and negotiate a different alternative way to still get to that end goal. But ultimately, this is what she wants to do now. How we get from point A to point B doesn't matter as long as point B is eventually reached. Okay, so we need to, one, we need to learn more information, more information, more, we need to learn more information. Two, we need to get we need to pick a battle when we are when we can have the advantage. We need to have a plan of attack. This it's okay, yes, vengeance on this person, but doing vengeance wrong is just gonna end up with you dead and no vengeance. All right. Am I? Oh. Yeah, you're you're going through. We're just being quiet. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, sure. You, you weren't muted. You made sense. You made you made yep. sense. Okay. Too much. Yes, and that last part I think is the most important one of just just you know a straight shot at vengeance against an opponent who is almost certainly out of our league is going to wind up with you and probably everyone else dead and no vengeance at all. Hmm. We put, we should probably get you healed up first before that fighting. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, we should still technically go back because she kind of did tell us to do it, and it's like, oh, you'll never believe it. We got on the ship, and then it <laughs> started floating itself. It was really strange, so we got off because it was very very bizarre. Mm. She, if she wasn't so focused on this stupid boat, uh, <laughs> she, Barrel would be a little bit more helpful, I would hope. Um, but it's kind of... Uh, Hard. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, here, okay, here's an idea. 
this is kind of coming from a thought that yoga might have. Now, this is just one person who's part of a group, right? Kind of? Mm, just part of a family, like a noblesque family. Okay, so just throwing, so throwing this out there as potentially a crazy idea. If we, we, I mean, we suspect that all the members of his family are like, they're a family of probably bad people. Are we, sus mm. are we suspecting that? I'm suspect, we've only seen, we only saw two people in this manner, the woman who hired, who we convinced to hire us. And then uh, a 12 year old who I assume is her daughter or something. <laughs> something. It's probably not, but there's a 12 year old on the premises, and then there's uh, Ruth Fordreamer herself. Okay. And one of them is associated with this group that I dislike with a burning passion that could flood and drown the entire world. Okay, so I'm, I'm, okay, so there's this dreamer family, and then there's this larger group. Four dreamers is the last name. The, the group is, uh, is called the crushing wave, because that's the symbol that Din showed. The order of the crushing wave. Order okay, of the crushing wave. So what if we were to find a way to get the members of the crushing wave to turn on each other? And get them to destroy each other, and then at the end, before this one person, we don't know anyone else who's part of this group except potentially uh, this. Yeah, person. We, that mm. would. Be, I mean, this is. I, I'm. This is a long term. I mean, this is. Not oh, you mean long term? Oh, yeah. I, I'm just. I'm throwing this out here as a long term strategy, a a plan that we wouldn't get it done, like right away. The idea of we. Especially if you, I mean, this whole group is a group that you hate, and she just happens to be yes. of it. Okay, we find out the other members of this group, then we find a way to get them to turn on each other so the group destroys itself. And then right at the end, whoever is left to pick off, you can step in and say, hey, I was responsible for this right before you finish them off. Okay, but the only person we potentially, and this is, this is still a full-on based assumption, um sorry okay for, sorry for dipping for a moment so, uh my dad sent me a two-word text that just said call me and so i kind of had a ah! moment mm. all good i just got that blank and it's like oh you posted something while i was mid-talking uh everything's fine by the way he just had a flat tire so he's not driving up to oh. today <laughs> okay so sorry to have interrupted uh, that no, uh, fuck, where was my words? Either, either that or we find some way to turn what, turn this, well, yeah, I mean, just... But, here, but here's the assumption that, it's still an assumption that Ruth is part of this group. We don't 100% know. It's only because this boat that she sent us to had this symbol on it. And it, it could not mean that she's <laughs> associated. She could actually be completely oblivious. It could be the 12-year-old. <laughs> but who knows? Yeah. It was the 12 year old all along. Uh, but we don't know. And this is the only person who, if they are, this is the only person who could potentially know those other people and could lead us on that path that you were describing. But then it, it, to get to that long term goal, we have to deal with this um, short term one like now. Uh -huh. So the, the long term goal is, is, a, is a good one. It is. Um, I'm not discounting it at all. I'm saying that. In order to get to that, we have a step that we need to get to, and that is getting someone so we can get to know where those other people are. Because ultimately, I want them all dead. Yeah. I want them all dead. If Finn knows about your backstory and what I they did, <laughs> okay, he, is, he, he will be very angry. Because I mean, that I'm is not, not a I nice mean, thing to do. Not Yoga's not opposing the objective. She's just dis she's discussing the method of going about it. Yeah, no, I I, I get that. And this this is this is more me 
uh, reminding that the object, the full objective is great, but we need to fi- hit one step before we can move towards that full objective. Because we haven't gotten to that point where we know that information. If this person, like, disappears, we don't know anything. We're back at square one. And we have to mm. go find another person. And we don't know how we're going to find that out. Hmm. Well, we, we know this family. Could we look into investigating around the family? Like, find out what connections this family has? Well, we know that she's friends with the mortician whose boat we were on originally. But we're going to go there eventually anyway. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Well, so they... If this is a prominent family, then there are going to be clear, obvious connections that people are going to be able to find out about that if you follow them, there's going to be leads that are going to come up. A question, because now I'm just thinking. Mm-hmm. That other symbol that we saw earlier... Mm-hmm. The triangle. Did anyone identify that? No. Like, to the degree that I did with this mm-hmm. one. We just know that it is very old. Yeah, and I, I might be magical. Like, was that last week or was this before? No, that it's was this just, week. Wait, sorry, this is something that happened it's earlier. Just, um, that was earlier. Yeah. That was in images and maps. So Yoga wouldn't have seen it anyway. Yeah, Yoga no. would not have seen no. it. Right. Can I? Can I make? an assumption and can I try and connect to see if they're potentially both similar or in that because with what you just sent me that it has other orders that are considered enemies mm-hmm. like I, I'm not going to make that, you roll for that if that's an assumption you want to make you are free to make it because <laughs> I I I'm trying not to use meta knowledge, but that symbol has a name there. <laughs> I know it does. I know all the symbols have names because I can't exactly hide those. Uh, and I, I appreciate the attempt, but I mean, it, it's a pretty fair assumption that you know, those those two symbols are both ancient as hell and pretty simple, and they look kind of like exact opposites of each other. Mm-hmm. I think it's a fair yeah. assumption. <laughs> I think in that case, I actually think that this is an avenue we could take. Um, those guys we saw walking around with the other simple, we could actually <laughs> now. Sorry, not not exact opposites of each other, but um, but they're a similar like origin in yeah. like. So hard as... to sell if they're they're a natural enemy of this. These two orders are natural enemies. They may or, or they may could not be two be factions of the same it. order. Mm-hmm. It's, okay, not, so it's, it's not like these symbols would be terribly hard to draw, so if you wanted to, to show them to Yoga, it would be uh, yeah. th- this one <laughs> and this one. And the only one that we know the name of is Crushing Wave, which is the second one. Yeah. Crushing yeah. Wave, mm-hmm. I mean, what would I, ro- what would I roll to you know, try and figure out about them or what History. have you? History. Okay, so history. All right, first, I'm going to roll history on the crashing wave. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. <laughs> okay, then I will roll history on the black earth. I would like you to do something, please. Oh. Roll history what? again, Yoga. Okay. Oh. Does Yoga have advantage on this? This is the advantage roll, because I didn't get a chance to say it before the roll happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. With a 13, uh, you don't know exactly what the symbol means, but it is familiar to you. So, can I roll history again with the addition of the uh, crushing water symbol? So, what is, what is the, what is, how is it familiar to her? Uh, that is a symbol that you saw, uh, at your monastery when you were training. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Monastery Ooh. buddy. <laughs> um it was uh, when I when I I say that it was you did not see that as it was not a prominent thing that like the monastery had up. Um that was something that uh you saw being confiscated from another student. 
Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. That would, be, that would definitely be an interesting. That would definitely be an interesting. This, yeah, I think that's something so. that Yoga would mention. That there was that there was once a student. There was once an individual who had something with that symbol taken. So the addition of the crushing wave symbol just has made me even more confused. Lost. I think a little bit, yeah. <laughs> There's two of them? Oh, and they're so similar. <laughs> they're both triangles. I mean, at this... Yep, they've both got, got triangles. One's just got a fancy V-neck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, yep. Yeah, Beryl, I think in, I think in your case, it's just a matter of you're still a little like out of it from the dominate person spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three in a row. Yeah, it so <laughs> Three in wow, at least uh, it's on this and not something that would kill you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, Zuri, not even Zuri, paying attention. Zuri's I'm only crazy. doing this just to see. Okay. Yeah, we're all cursed right now. It's fine. Not a one, though. <laughs> no, nope. not a nat one. At the very least, it's just three. It's one, all one, five, one, five below. We're all five below, except for that one thirteen. Yep. And before five. that, it was another five. So now I have now I have another offer that is not going back to this lady who will clearly probably kill us if I allow Lana to do exactly what she wants to do. <laughs> I think is, we might be able to take her with a few sacrifices. I um, li listen. Don't a few leave you, that up. out of character. A few of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> quoted, I quoted by uh, Monica of this five minutes before everyone dies. But um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, plot twist: everyone survives except Mana. It's that's I mean, also possible. Yeah, it's entirely yeah. possible as well. It, it might really be a twentieth level terrible. wizard with a great ability to attack us, but they still probably have like less than one hundred and fifty health. I'd bet. Probably. Listen, <laughs> i I think that it would be a fair assumption to go find this group <laughs> <laughs> with the other symbol. Yeah, probably. Even if we have to fight them, they're probably lower level than the other one. Mm -hmm. Maybe they've got a boat too. Yes, and we can go for a ride. Yes, we'll go on oh, a little wow. fishing. We'll go on a fishing trip, Beryl. You, uh, you, me, and Zuri, and it will be fantastic and fun. And you'll catch all sorts of fish. Okay. And I will wave at you from the coast. <laughs> oh boy, is that, is that fair? But we got to do this thing first. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> oh my god. I love, I love. This is extremely goofy. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <that's fine. laughs> okay, so you want y'all y'all want to find the uh, the the weirdos? Yes. Probably yeah. have Mana heal first. Might might be a good idea. Um, Zuri, oh, yes. Zuri, Barrel, I have help. Both of you go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw, uh, and add add two for right now. Should I, should I uh, yoga do a med check? Is this considered a short rest? Can I get my spell slot back? <laughs> yeah, I'll say y'all y'all can take a short rest to uh, try and further get well, out I'm... of the the domination. Well, I'm I mean I'm saying uh, uh, yoga has like medicine as one of her best skills mm -hmm. so for for healing uh mana a little bit more yeah uh yeah go ahead and roll and then we'll i'll uh go ahead and roll a d20 or roll the medicine check and i'll say how much extra health that oh a 23 uh nice add three to all of those rolls mana so, oh then i'm full <laughs> <laughs> Full with three over. Okay. Yay. You don't get temp hit points, but. Aww. Y you realign her chi and uh, <laughs> get her back to, to tip top shape. Get rid of this, the, 
the red marks from Finn's gauntlets on my face. Mm-hmm. I you. took them off beforehand. And you're terrible. I'm just really strong. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I always have those, but. <laughs> I mean, this was a really bad one. <laughs> Look, she, I feel she bad was... about it. Oh, wait, she the headache is from the reading. Medicine, but That's she's right. not a miracle worker. <laughs> Listen, we have we have chronic migraines here, and their sources are twofold. <laughs> yeah, migraines not fun. No, I, I get them a lot. So uh, same. Yeah. Anyways, um, all right. Uh, short rest taken. Uh, Barrel, go ahead and roll the wisdom saving throw with plus two. Because I saw Zuri did one. Okay. You did not. Sorry. No worries. Um, that's this step. Oops, don't drag the whole thing. <laughs> uh, okay, 16 plus 2, 18. So, ah, you're both just barely under it. Ah! Um, <laughs> un- <laughs> so unfortunately, you still feel the siren call of the ocean. <laughs> I must Specifically go that fish! One boat. <laughs> Specifically that one boat that has left town. Yeah, the one boat that is way out there. It's such a perfect boat for fishing. It's big enough we can put all these fish on it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and we all can wear eye patches. <laughs> Did you ever? Your I don't think you ever changed your disguise out of the sailor outfit. Now that I'm thinking about it, nope. <laughs> no, it's please just stay in the sailor outfit. It's fine. You're adorable. Yeah. <laughs> of course, now you know you have to draw that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Boy, uh, clearly I just need to commission Deco again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Deco, I need to throw money at you. Please do. <laughs> oh, I, did I I don't think I ever showed the chat the commission I got for you. I should do that later. Anyway. You should. Um, I think I should send me details so I can actually throw money. <laughs> um, I, I, I am currently feeling tempted to do the same thing. Yes, give Digo money. Yes. Yay. I encourage all of you to give Digo money. I encourage all of you to give all of us money, except me. I'm fine. <laughs> we're, we're using this point of the of the broadcast to <laughs> to also, promote Diego's commissions. I, I would plug the resident happily, artist. I would yeah. happily accept money and or other goods and services of value. <laughs> and of course, uh, always uh, Spud. Spud. Spud also needs money. Yes. So Spud, yes. Yes. Spud too. Anyways, uh, so you go look for some weirdos, correct? Yes. Correct. I need weirdos. everyone to roll a perception to see how well they do at weirdo hunting. Yay! I also have <laughs> a uh, passive perception of twenty. Oh, you do. So, <laughs> yowza! What's my passive? Wow. Okay. Um, let me remove some weirdos. Uh, they okay? So, 16, 17, 14, 18, nothing. <laughs> they are, uh, uh, and the reason. For that, uh, is what Zuri can see is they have uh, broken down even further, and now there was only one in the area of the city you're in. Oh. So it started as a group of four, and then split to a group of two, and now there's just the one that Zuri sees here in the lower city, uh, roughly where y'all are. Should we catch him before he becomes just a pair of legs? Yes, (laughs) Zuri, go catch. I'm sorry, that's really bad. (laughs) Or we could follow the individual. You could. Could. You could also just walk up and talk to them. Also true. That is the intent to talk to them. This doesn't sound as stealthy as just following. No. But I mean, um, I'm not, not good at stealth. <laughs> so I, the, the, I feel like the rest of the party gets the like stealth music of da 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 And Finn's just got a stroll in the park. No, no, and Finn is actually the one singing that out loud. Yeah, might be. Finn is the crunk. Sings his own theme. Um. Okay, so yes, you 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 have found one member of that group. Uh, and you are free to uh, follow uh, if you so desire, or you can simply up and approach. How would you like to proceed? Okay, Zuri, stealth. I'm going to walk up and talk. 
I'm walking up and talking. I'm Yo Yoga's going to blinders. Do, yoga's going to stealthily do a spider orc thing. Spider orc. Stealth okay. cobalt activate. I guess both of you roll stealth then. <laughs> that is <laughs> wow. A quite really... a bonus there. Wow. <laughs> That's. Oof. I am purely on bonus there. <laughs> I. The barrel. What about I you? I guess. Are you going to talk? Or are you going to stealth? Thinking, uh, since she's just interested in the boat now, she's going to go up to him and just be like, hey, do you have a boat? Also, what does that thing on your back mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was going to be more... <laughs> I'm not going to say subtle, because I was going to be completely blatant as well. <laughs> okay, I feel like I should ask, where in the city is this right now? Uh, right lower now, city. Yeah, it's lower city, and y'all are approximately in uh, this area right here. Hmm. I was gonna outright say, "Tell me what you know about the crushing wave," <laughs> but you, you're what you say works good too. Okay. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll do this in order. Firstly, uh, Yoga Zuri, if he can see you, he's not showing it, or if they can see okay. you, they're not showing it. I should say. Um. And uh, uh, hmm. the, as for the rest of you, um, Beryl, to your question, uh, the figure says, Ah, no, I do not have a boat. As for the symbol, are you interested in the Order of the Black Earth? Probably. <laughs> well then, follow me. Uh, and he is going to, or they are going to take you on a, uh, wild sort, not a wild goose chase, but it's a sort of sprawling path. Did any of the rest of you want to say anything to him? I'll be following along. Okay. I was going to say that one Being. thing, and then I guess I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> I mean, you're free, free to say it while you're walking. So yeah, I'm going to roll gonna... stealth just to... Make myself more obvious. <laughs> <laughs> That's a plan. Except, yeah, yeah, but okay. One of those was, was a 20. <laughs> wow. Oh, that would have been great, though. You just completely disappear. From <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, you, if you want to... Um, if you want Basically, to I wanted to uh, draw his attention to me so that he wouldn't see the other two that are hiding. Oh, no, no worries there. Wasn't sure what to do with that. <laughs> no worries there. Um, Mana, if you want to ask your question, you are still free to be able to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to ask it while we're walking. And the specific question was again. Uh, what do you know about the crushing wave? Uh, or the order of the crushing wave? The uh, You will see the barest hint of a fanged smile underneath the cloak. Ooh. Um... Oh. <laughs> and he says a misguided bunch but passionate uh it it doesn't Sounds... it doesn't seem to be animosity but they he clearly does not agree with them <laughs> Sounds like a sense of superiority rather than a hatred Yeah <laughs> Listen, I wanted to be a little positive about Mana's <laughs> interpretation of this group right now. <laughs> um, I wanted to bring it to at least a neutral instead of putting them in firing range too. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, and uh, he will guide you. They will guide. I keep saying he. They will guide you uh, sort of around various uh, corners. Every time it looks like the uh, uh, you see a flaming fist patrol, he'll uh, they'll take you down another alleyway. Um, you'll y'all go quite a distance, actually. So why the aversion to the flaming fist? Uh, you ask that one out loud. Yeah. Um. He, they, uh, frown, and, um, say, uh, you hear from the, uh, from the cloak, because there are eyes and ears everywhere, and
and some we do not want to interact with. All right. That's understandable. Fair enough. Um, and you are, and uh, after a while, you are directed towards. Uh, which of these would be the best place? You are actually directed to the Basilisk Gate. I was just zoomed in on that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, there's actually several uh, patrols of uh, Flame Fist mercenaries, or Flaming Fist mercenaries, uh, in that area guarding the gate. Um, but, uh, the figure moves, uh, it's not, you don't go directly to the gate. You actually go over towards, let me pull up a little thing here. This area right about here. Uh, and the figure puts a scaled hand on the wall. And the stone simply parts. Uh, and you are, uh, the, the figure gestures for you to leave the city. So, herein, therein lies the question of if the stealthy people, like, want to reveal themselves now. Or Do we? <laughs> I mean, is it, I mean, is it clearly going outside the city? It's pretty clearly going outside the city. So not some stealthy... <clears throat> You might be able oh. to. You you still might be able to self, but you're probably gonna have to get over the wall first. I mean, yoga can just walk up the wall. That's no issue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and yoga could also just carry Zuri over the wall. Yeah, that that is a good ah. point. If it's just if it's just yoga and Zuri, yoga could could carry could carry Zuri. Also true. Mm-hmm. So stay stealthy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Staying so, stealthy. I will request a strength check. Because this is going to be a fairly uh, tall wall. Could it be? Would it? Could it be a strength? Well, I suppose. The, the, you know, the trick is that like the strength is like. Yeah. Um, actually, actually, I'll actually with you. Actually, being... now that I think. Go ahead. Now that I, well, I'm just remembering that. Oh yeah, I've got guidance, so I can use that as a boost. Hmm. Um, also, uh, there was something else here. Um, Probably get a bonus for being a size larger, if you are. Yeah, I'm going to say you can go ahead and add plus four to that roll. Just oh, you're... Okay, here's an important question. Can, what, I, I mean, I'm not aware of it. So what's, what's the rules on using bag of holding with individuals? Good day. Okay. They yeah. cannot breathe. Okay. Yeah. Hold your breath. Okay. You could actually, uh, if you since you don't have any penalties to do it, I think if you if the easiest path, the one that wouldn't require a strength check, is just tie a rope around her, and then tie a <laughs> rope around yourself. Okay. <laughs> I think just you know a little uh, Zuri gets to rappel up the wall as you just Whee! walk up it. Yes. So. Okay. Um, your dog is stealthy, Barrel. Okay. So yeah, I will uh, roll the. So I. So you said, what do I roll then for you it, or you, do I need to roll something for the, for the rope? You don't need to roll. It okay. was if you. It's gonna. You'll be a little bit behind because you have to actually set up the knots and stuff. Um, but you should be able okay. to catch up within like the equivalent of two rounds, I guess. I'm not. Okay. I'm not suggesting we're going into combat. I'm just saying that is a like okay. guess. All right. And if you were to roll strength, it would just be your strength plus your plus four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And whatever your modifier is. The modifier is zero, which is why I said plus four. Ah. <laughs> okay. Because monk monk does not use uh, strength that often. Yep. Hmm. I keep overestimating people's abilities. You sure do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great habit to have, but let's be it's, realistic. Yeah. It's great. I mean, and it's a great character trait. Mm-hmm. I tend to uh, link punching with strength. Yeah. That's fair. But most people do. Well, 
yeah, I mean, normally I'm pretty sure that'd be true, but I mean, do you get to use decks? Yeah, the I think it's yeah the marsh, yeah martial arts. I mean, the martial arts is use dexterous can use dexterity yeah. instead of strength for attack and damage rolls of unarmed strikes and monk weapons. Barrel, I think the easiest way for your dog to get around is uh, not to go through the wall, but just to go past the guards at the Basilisk Gate. That's what gonna, I was thinking, yeah. They're not going to stop a dog. <laughs> Where's exactly. your paperwork, dog? <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, gonna... then that's the easiest way to get anywhere. Everyone polymorph into dogs and just walk out. <laughs> I can't polymorph. Anyways, um, so yes. Yeah, so Everyone ever if, uh, uh, acquire a mass amount of rings of transformation for dogs. <laughs> Ring of <laughs> become dog. <laughs> uh, it's been almost three hours, so I think we're just about at the end of this. And I'm going to say y'all are directed, uh, as I said, through the wall um, and towards a little uh, home sort of set up uh over this way towards the uh towards a you know a mountainous region of the outer city um and everyone is capable of falling behind that's that's no issue um mm. the those who were being stealthy uh caught up fast enough and uh inside uh this home which is uh a pretty roughly constructed home made of uh uh earth and rock um with barely a thatch roof um there are uh probably about four other figures in robes and it looks like maybe three or four figures who are there like you um who look not confused but like they've been waiting for a little while and are getting a little impatient so angry, yeah, or annoyed. I would say annoyed is probably closer. They're like they're not upset in any capacity. Just like I, they, they just really expected things to be moving faster than whatever is happening now. Um, and after your entrance, uh, and the stealth characters can uh, get close enough to listen in on this, although they can't quite see what's happening. Uh, because this house has no windows. Um, Yay. The figure that Not was suspicious for a house at all. Uh, it's, I mean, as I said, it was pretty, pretty roughly constructed. Um, mm -hmm. The figure that was leading you uh, removes their hood, revealing uh, a scaly face uh, <laughs> with bandages around their eyes and a whole head full of snakes. Oh. Ah. Fun. And uh, <laughs> they I, I um Yoga's standing there. I'm going to get behind him and uh get stealthy. <laughs> By Yoga, do you mean Finn? Or whoever's thing it's... is there. Whoever's Finn is there. the only male in the party. Well, it's Oh, sorry. Yeah, yoga, three of sorry, yoga's, us. yoga's figure is actually outside the house. Yours ah. is yours is inside, and I haven't moved. Well, I'm going to start else. hanging back anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be behind somebody who be tall. Fair and then, is probably uh, the tallest and most sturdy of the group, aside from okay. Yoga. Hmm. And then I mean, Yoga didn't come inside. It's basically you, me, yeah. and Barrel who are inside. So you just go behind me, and then. Vanish like a magic trick. Yeah. <laughs> Whoosh. Um, Whoosh. I I don't think I can like logically say that uh you know you've just disappeared from everyone's view. No. Um, they're just not paying attention to you. They're very much not paying attention to you, is I think the best way to describe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So swap barrel and Surrey. Um and the actually where did mana's Mana's figure go? Where did Mana's... Did you leave it at the Pentagon? No, because it's not there. Oh, it's in oh. the water. It's in the water. <laughs> Makes sense. That was odd. <laughs> Anyways. I, I've returned my natural element. <laughs> the, uh, 
the uh the medusa uh takes a moment and uh again smiles a, a fanged smile towards the group and says uh we are with the order of black earth and we are here to prevent demons from infesting your city and i think that's where we're going to leave it off for today dun, dun. okay uh- <laughs> You know, I'm really glad you left it on a cryptic line. I was really <laughs> yeah. hoping you would. I you pulled through. I do love me my cryptic lines. Uh, I do love yeah. me my uh, next time on Dragon Ball Z's. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I guess even the, on that cliffhanger. The I guess the typical speech. Uh, if thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this or any of our other Spud ventures. Uh, feel free to uh, support Newbie Spud at his Patreon at patreon.com slash Newbie Spud. We aim to do this every other uh, every week. Um, Spud streams uh, three times a week, depending on how he's feeling. Uh, and uh, there's also the uh, uh, Friendship is Dragons comic, if you haven't, if you aren't familiar with that. It's a fun one to, to read. Uh, and next week is i believe a game that uh cute list slash zenkarn is gonna run on yes. his uh uh um homebrew setting in five yes years. it's gonna so be great it's gonna be cool and then the week <laughs> after that uh we'll probably continue the theros one shot <laughs> so um. it, it might be a little bit before we get back to forgotten ones but uh uh, I'm, it's okay. I'm glad we will. I'm glad we got a chance to do borrowers today because this is also yeah. a story of great interest to me, and I have many notes. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, it might be a good thing to take a little break from Forgotten Ones for now. Yeah, just for a little bit. Mm, yeah. What with what's coming up? Yep. Mm. It's all good. Alrighty. Uh, so thank you for watching, and have a good night, y'all. <laughs>